Good morning, good evening, good night. You know what it is already. NFT Live, we're coming to you early this morning. I got my sale shirt on. I got my sale watch on. I'm putting together an outfit for my sales these days. Uh, it's good to see everybody in the chat. I've got Ronan here with me. We're getting ready for the COGS sale that's happening on WAX today. We can't miss sales, so no, we have man. to go live. Most definitely. And this is a big one, man. I think this one is uh, perfect for the NFT community. I think it's perfect for collectors. I think it's a perfect drop for gamers, right? Like people who want to like get into a game finally, like on blockchain. Mm. Now the game doesn't come out just yet, um, but it is in the works. It's been tested. It's coming, right? So um, there's a lot of cool stuff to look forward to when it comes to um, what COGS has to offer. And I'm really looking forward to today's drop, man. We got 27 minutes. I like that they've got a countdown. Yeah, I, I haven't been to the website yet. So guys, this is a project that Ronan's been like deeply involved in. I'm kind of here as an observer, as a trader, as an investor a little bit. <laughs> again, we again we said it's really early, so it's it might take us a couple minutes to get involved, but we appreciate you guys kind of getting us started here. Uh, this is by far the earliest we've ever done an NFT live. So uh, we're going to have everything ready. I'm going to try to get my wax wallet set up, my cloud wallet <laughs> set up so that I can participate. Uh, so, so what's going on today for the people that don't know what COGS is, what is actually happening today? Right. So uh, a quick rundown on exactly what's going down. So COGS are basically a throwback to the 90s uh, craze POGS, right? And they were called POGS, milk caps, caps, depends on where you're from. Um, but basically it's bringing that and it's making it digital. Um, so what's happening today is they're actually dropping their first, uh, it's like a limited edition first series run. Um, mm -hmm. This is actually going to be the only one that's going to be this limited. Um, a lot of people are questioning the fact that, you know, they've got a three hour window versus all the, the previous releases that have had um, you know just a limited packs um, but the scarcity in these things comes from the fact that there's 3,414 different combinations of cogs that mm. you can get which means there's literally 3,400 number one mints um, so that's what makes it cool that's what gives it the the scarcity um, and I think that's why people should be excited because this is going to be something where you guys are here you're in early you're investing it's like magic the gathering like the first like alpha like run Ooh. yeah like it, it, dude that was like something like two million and those cards are not cheap these days so it, you know it, this is a little bit different than just a normal you know card collectible um this is is, is a a game right once it's gamified yeah. it kind of changes things it gives it longevity yeah definitely i was not a pogs player myself i think that was a little before my time uh, i remember like I seeing so. kids playing them when i was in like, second <laughs> and third grade uh it's interesting that you said that milk caps started in hawaii because i think i lived in hawaii around the time not around the time it was in origin right because mm -hmm. it was an 80s thing but definitely saw some kids there when i was in elementary school kind of playing pogs still so uh definitely interested in the pvp aspect i'm a big pvp guy so being able to kind of take these cogs with the uh the slammer that you talked about and be able to kind of like bet cogs and through an rng process kind of win and lose cogs that's that's what interests me uh the supply is something i want to go ahead go ahead to clarify the so the um you, from the way i understand it the gameplay will work is you'll actually choose your um your, the cogs that you want to like put into play there'll be three different mm -hmm. modes there'll be a regular mode where um every time you flip one over face up when you slam the deck you'll get a point Whoever has the most points after three rounds wins, right? Mm. Then there'll be one for keeps. And for keeps, you'll get to choose what cogs you bring into those matches. Um, and it's actually not RNG. It's uh, it's it's skill-based. Like, the game is skill-based. So oh, okay. um, from the way they explained it, it's kind of like a Even throwback better. to, yeah. <laughs> it, it, if you've played, like, Tiger Woods Golf, right? Like, you've got mm -hmm. the power bars where you've got to hit it, like, just right, yeah, yeah, to yeah. The, you know, and get the angle. That's pretty much the, the way the game's going to work. So there's an element of skill there um, that will help because they also, like I said, have tournaments. Got it, got it. All right, guys. Well, I'm pushing out everything on social media, as you can see me kind of tinkering away over here on my computer. But we've got about, what do we got? We got about 25 minutes, 24 minutes until the sale. So we're going to start dropping links into all the chats. I'm going to pull up Just Discord yeah, yeah, yeah. on my end. We're going to drop it into Whale. We're going to drop it into COGS. Hopefully, we'll start to get some people in here uh, as the sale goes Speaking live. Of, I'm going to go ahead. We are streaming to multiple Discords. So okay. I actually have to hit go live. Because <laughs> we are going to be in the whale discord, which is a huge community, as well as the sure. Hogs, um Discord itself. 
Okay, perfect, man. Yeah, I'm definitely interested in that. I'm pushing it on my own social media. We appreciate you guys showing up. I see that there's about seven of you guys in the chat. We know it's early. We kind of dropped the thumbnail last night, letting everybody know. We're putting it out on social media right now, but let us know what you're most interested in uh, as this COG sale goes live. The the So we didn't touch on the supply. Uh, we touched on the PVP aspect. The one thing I'm interested in as a trader and a kind of investor is the fact that supply is not going to be capped. I think one of the reasons there's been success with some of the COG sales is that the secondary market sales have been really crazy, right? They've they capped the supply at a certain amount. They sell out within 60 minutes uh, and then... Uh, people can make, you know, ugu bucks on on pretty much the, the secondary market. So yeah. uh, it'll be interesting to see what the dynamic is around this sale as we go live and, and what the appetite is for this type of product with this type of mechanic. Yep, yep. I think that what's important to note is like this is definitely not that. This is not an opportunity for uh, you guys who like to flip for a hundred times your investment. You know, I I know you guys. If you threw five dollars, who doesn't like GV, to do that? <laughs> five dollars down on GVK turned into <laughs> you know a hundred dollar packs. So I get it, and you know what I mean. Everybody likes to make money, and when you're in this mm. thing as like a hobby, it also helps to be able to make money while you're doing that, right? Mm -hmm. So um, it makes sense. However, this isn't that. But long term, I really do think that this is going to be one of those iconic sets from like the early eras of NFTs, like when they gamified things. Um, another thing to remember is the value is also almost fluid, like forever mm. with these things. Okay, so like COGS actually stands for Keys to Other Games. All right, so keys to other games. Basically, what that means is that you can take these cogs, these NFTs, these tokens, and you can then use them in other games. Now, our Fox, who's making cogs, they can actually uh, they actually have an ecosystem planned where they're going to be pulling up, um, where they're going to be making more games and developing more games that will use these cogs. But they're also working mm -hmm. on partnerships with other IPs, other games, where you know one of the cogs that you have now in two years may end up unlocking some special level on, mm. you know, uh, a Fortnite level, like, you know, a Fortnite game or something like you never know, like where, where this goes. And, and what's cool about what's going on now is that it's, it's forever. Right? It's on the blockchain. Like, and, and what's cool is that, that, that they're built that way. They're built mm. to be used, uh, and to be functional, um, to the, the, the people who own them. Okay. So for those people who maybe aren't in the, the actual sale or don't know the information around sale, I'm going to what address so that I can participate. I know collectibles, I know all the secondary markets, but what is the actual kind of COG sale page? Okay. So um, the COG sale page is going to be atomichub.io. All right. Okay. Now, once you go to atomichub.io, they got this huge banner. Um, you're going to want to click that banner that says, you know, buy now, I think, or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. um, and it, uh, I mean, here it is. Get packs now. Right. So uh, you come here, you'll go to get packs now, which the pack art is dope. I don't know if you've seen the pack art, but it looks no. really, really good. Um, and then we hang out and wait. Right. Okay. okay. So once you buy your packs here, um, you're actually not going to open your packs here. You're going to open your packs on wax.cogs. Dot gg so make sure okay. you guys um are there and hello to the uh cogs discord community good morning guys um i have got you pulled up hopefully the stream is is working well if at any point it doesn't please let me know in chat i appreciate that um i haven't heard from the will community just yet but i do know that they're going to be joining us at some point so i'm um, looking forward to that as well all right so you dropped it in the whale community yeah the, um they're actually going to mirror one of their representatives is going to okay. mirror our stream there i'll as well. agree yeah, Alegria. Yeah. So, nice. um, yeah, cool dude, man. I love that community. They, they're like really involved in what's going on and they really like yep. to help cross promote like other stuff that's happening. Right. Like their discord server, if you guys aren't part of it, you, you're going to want to jump in because those guys mm -hmm. are, are on it. They know, like they've got their finger on the pulse of every project coming to every chain. <laughs> I mean, they really understand, um, the, the space really well. Yeah, well, Shark and that community are killing the social currency game too. I know, I know. There's some interesting token mechanics where the token is actually backed by NFTs, but that's that social token is killing it as far as price action goes uh, on on Uniswap and, and things like that. So, congrats to that uh, community. Welcome in, guys. As we see you guys start to comment, we got Papa Bear saying, "Let's go!" I'm so excited. Zentro is saying, "20 minutes. Here we go." 
Yeah. Arc Legger, good luck, fellas. I'm gonna lurk and watch. And Thanks Martin so saying what's up to Arc Legger. Guys, we are we are getting excited. I got my I'm getting I got hyped, my sale dude. tea. I got my sale tea. We are ready I'm to go, hyped, dude. I've got I've got. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. On my second monitor queue, I may or may not be trying to swap some more uh, crypto into wax. <laughs> you DJ? I, I may or, I may or may not be trying to get you, more wax. You should have hit me up, man. I can OTC. You <laughs> get a, I, I got a ton of OTC? wax. I can give you. I <laughs> can get some. Again. Yeah, I can definitely give you some wax. Let me know. Uh, <laughs> send me your send me your address and chat, and maybe I can yeah. send you some wax if that stuff we'll doesn't chat. come through. So, sure. I got um, Venmo. Venmo works right. Oh yeah, Venmo works for me, man. I'll, I'll take I'll take cash. <laughs> or I'll just now. send you ETH or whatever. We'll work it out. Yeah, for sure. For cool, sure. appreciate it, bud. So, how like what do you guys do? You guys have any idea what you guys are going to collect yet? Have you have you had a chance to take a look at the the art? I know I sent you some stuff last night. I know it was also very late. So, mm -hmm. so again, like you've been super involved in this project, so yeah. I want more information as far as what I'm trying to collect. When I open these packs, I'm getting a random assortment of of collectibles correct like there's not i know there's a ton of categories that are going to be like involved here like there's 80s there's 90s there's like um i think there's cyberpunk there's a ton of different ones so what categories should i be trying to collect that's I, i'm just coming at it from like an uninitiated perspective right i think i really like the uh the 80s retro uh the retros looks. are cool man yeah and yeah. I also like the ones that have like the the stages where they start as an egg and start to grow. So maybe I'll try to to look the, look yeah. at that as far as a feature that I'm looking for. But yep. as far so as something that I'm trying set. to yeah, as far as something I'm trying to collect, I'm just coming at it from you know I have no idea what's going on. It's like it's like I'm opening you know GPKs. Who knows? Yeah. What I'm get. <laughs> I totally understand, man. I think that what most people are going to want to look for, you're going to want to look for um, your ultra rares, right? So that's going to be uh, the colors are you're really looking for are yellow and gold. Um, okay. gold being the ultra rares, uh, like, or the ultra, we'll have to pull up the chart at some point, but I've, yeah, got, yeah, yeah. I've got it primed and ready, but, um, yeah, man. So you want to look for that. You're also going to be looking for the foils. The foils have like this really cool sheen on them, um, that just give them that throwback, like hologram feel, um, so the, the, those are the ones that you're going to look for. And then as far as collecting wise, like, man, look for the things that like appeal to you, right? Like, so cyberpunk yeah. to me is the best looking set. Um, mm -hmm. However, like they've got a, I always get it wrong, but I'm going to get it right this time. They have a military or no, a space military set. That's what it's called. I always call it future soldiers. Uh, yeah, uh, I like those ones too. Yes. Very cool stuff, man. And the, I don't know if you know the, um, the cyberpunk one is actually done by rare designer who did an Got early it. NFT set that was designed off of like Pepe the frog. So he's known as mm. Pepe the designer in like the crypto world. And like people know him for being like the one who made like Pepe the frog, like cards, I believe. Interesting. Um, but dude, his, his art is, is perfect, man. Yeah. I'm hopping into the uh, whale shark discord now, guys. I'm the, that's my collectible. Okay. So I actually if, just if, got, if okay. Carried, so Allegri, I'm sorry. Allegri hit me up. They're going to be um, streaming on their gamer specific hub. Um, so I will drop that link to you because they actually yeah, also please. have another. They've got something else that is going on on Will as well this morning. Oh wow, we're getting pushed out on the Will Discord. <laughs> Come well, on, guys! So Dude, that's the crypto world, right? Like <laughs> NFTs. This that's... stuff is changing every day, True. which is which. What's really cool um, yeah. about about that? Hey, I just want a quick shout out to everybody who's hanging out with us. Um, thank you guys so much. Uh, Acid Sun, Archon, um, Art. Peddler, appreciate you. Uh, Din, I don't even know how to say your your name, buddy. Din Dinneridin, you're welcome for the help yesterday, man. I'm glad that we could get you to um, kind of understand what they're doing with Cogs and, and why it's exciting. Um, and then to YouTube, thanks so much, uh, Young Content. First and last pack, Magic. Uh, Papa Bear, so what is worth it? Buy a starter pack at 400 wax or four boosters at 100 wax? So, okay, so the way the pack packs work um is you've got two different options right you've got the starter packs and then you've got the um the booster packs if you want to play the game you definitely want to make sure you're picking up a minimum of one starter pack i think everybody should pick up at least one starter pack um what's the difference the difference is obviously how many you're going to get but also with the starter pack you have what's called five um they're calling them like uh, special slots, okay? So those special slots have um, the opportunity to roll a random uh, cog that is rare 
or higher. So you're always going to, in those last five slots of the starter pack, you're going to get at least five more rares on top of what you're already getting, which I think is three rares. Um, mm. So a minimum of eight rares in those packs. And then that can also give you the highest chance for, um, you know, the, the slammers, additional slammers, foils, that kind of thing. What's cool about the booster packs is they added a special slot to the booster pack. So you're going to get six cogs there. And one of those is a special slot. And it actually has a slightly higher chance to hit rare stuff so it gives mm. a little more incentive because like if you do the math it's like why would i spend you know the the same amount of money for just like a couple of more cards when they're more than likely going to be common right so they added that special slot and gave it a little boost to give it you know reason right because you the point is is this is going to be gamified so mm. when after launch and once the game does you know come out this is the point is is you're wanting to use a stack of these things to play the game and and so um there's going to be a lot of commons and that kind of thing, but by nature of odds, like we may see some really crazy things by the end of this, right? Like we may end up seeing an ultra rare that never gets pulled, or you may end up seeing a rare that's a one of one, right? This is this is so much more dynamic. I feel like every it's sale so on Wax dynamic. is getting more dynamic. Like GPKs was just here, open the cards. The mint and numbers that, were important, but then the Shatner card you have to like two weeks late, late, later. Yeah, yeah, and then then the uh, shards like with the Shatner cards, and now we're getting into a little bit more dynamic style. So mm-hmm. as far as like the rares and the specials, what am I like? Which one do I want? Which like do I want the rare? or Do I want the special? So okay, specials. Okay, special is uh, a special slot in the packs, and what okay. that that slot means is you can roll anything from rare higher. Okay, so Mm. you can get a rare, you can get an ultra rare, you can get a foil, you can get slammers, anything that's above a rare in those slots. So that's why those special slots are are like important um, because Mm. they're going to give you the highest chance to roll like, you know, a a really good. Yeah, yeah. Arc Legger's talking to Papa Bear here. He says, Papa, depends on how many rares or special slots you want. Starter gets you five special, three, three rares, four boosters gets you four rares and four specials. So some interesting stuff. My wallet's definitely loaded. Serum's, Serum's wallet, in here. Man. He's saying wallet loaded with Waxby. My yes, wallet's sir. definitely loaded. Yo, send me uh, send me your address, uh, Ronan, if you want that uh, wax, man, by the time the sale starts. but uh, <laughs> I got wax for hey, the start of the sale. Uh, okay, the, okay. For the, the second half, maybe. Okay, sounds good. So so is mint number going to be important here? I know that's huge for what's happening uh, on wax. I think regardless, mint number is always going to be a big thing for collectors. Like okay. even with the fact that these are digital, right? Like, you know, they're getting printed like immediately one after another. But mint number is important. Um, and what makes this unique is the fact that there are so many variations. So people mm. who are like, oh, well, this is going to be live for so long and the mints go right away. You can, with the odds, you could literally pull the first ultra rare foil slammer Mm. two months from now like Mm. you know what i mean so um i think what gives like this that longevity is the the way they designed it to 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 be that way as far as like we're gonna get Mm. tons and tons of comments and stuff and that's the point that's how it was back in the 90s okay so i know you didn't play but like you would (laughs) you would go and you would buy a pack or a tube of these pogs and you'd get them out and you'd start looking through them and it would be like, am, am I going to hit a hologram? Am I going to get a foil? Like, did mm. I hit a special edition? So like, it so they're gives playing you a, on that. But, but the, the majority of the stack was always commons and you would always take those commons because those are the ones you wanted to play for keeps, mm-hmm. right? Like you would go and try to complete cool sets and things like that. And so they really did a great job of capturing like that nineties cog, you know, pog feel. Why is it that so many of these collectibles are old school, man? We got GPK, which <laughs> is like old school 80s. This is old school 80s. We got William Shatner, who's even before the 80s. Like, I'll wh- tell you, what's what's going on here? I think it's because physical collecting at some point did kind of die down a little bit. You know what I mean? And I think that um, digital just makes sense. And I think that it, mm-hmm. it, it's going to come back. And it's got like younger guys are going to be jumping into this left and right, man. Um, got it. Especially now that it's digital. It's just a matter of the fact that like, that's what they're using to get in like people who've got money and they know they're so loyal to that brand, right? GPK, mm-hmm. dude, I didn't, I didn't know this before I, I started looking into that community, man. Those dudes are nuts. Yeah. Like those guys are hardcore, like when it comes to collecting. So I think that they've been tapping into like this nostalgia because it's, it's proven, right? You know, it's going to be a, uh, it's good. It's going to be, it should be a win as long as you execute correctly. 
Um, so kudos to the BCH guys for coming out here with like an IP that was original. Um, mm-hmm. And then also doing some really cool stuff in the secondary market. I really wish that Tops and, and, and Wax would start doing some stuff with the secondary market and with uh, GBK and TK and, you know, encouraging as far as what? people. So what BCH is doing is they're doing like secondary market like events, basically. Like mm. they did a hundred card burn. If you took a hundred commons and burned them, right? Because like NFCs have that burn mechanic of literally just burning them and getting rid of them. Mm-hmm. If you burned a hundred, you got a special legendary card, right? Got it. And um, from those of us who played the top apps, that's called hoarding, right? And that and you you would hoard like certain cards, and then you would get rewarded for that. Like eventually, tops would come around and say, if you have ten thousand versions of this card, we'll give you a special card. Like I have a one of twenty four from the first yeah. year of tops. Interesting. And that takes down the supply of the total and it takes in down existence. The yeah. And it encourages people to trade and encourages mm. people to purchase off of the secondary market um, mm. and encourages people to open packs that they may be wanting to, to, you know, they may look and see that they've got 85 of these things. And they, if they open one more pack of BCH and they should have enough to, to hit a hundred, you know what I mean? So yeah. um, it makes sense. It gets things moving, it gets things going. Um, and it, it, it encourages that. people to stay involved in their projects. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, guys. So we've got about, I'm looking at it uh, directly here, seven minutes and 25 seconds, right? When I'm <laughs> saying this. So we've got 15 of y'all in the chat, man. We appreciate y'all showing up early. I know it's a super early uh, edition here of NFT live, but we want to go live during this cog sale. So that's why we're doing it. Uh, a couple of different things that we're doing along with this. We might do a pack giveaway. I think we will do some type of, I think a card giveaway makes more sense. Uh, just that we, we have more. So yeah. let's do a, yeah, a, can, like yeah, a cogs giveaway giveaways yeah, uh, yeah. and then and we'll then we'll yeah and then what we'll do is have the team we'll hopefully have the team in here i know it's yep. a little bit dynamic they're doing their sale uh yeah. so hopefully we'll have this the the cogs team in here guys so that's kind of the lineup we have we're going to go live here in the next six minutes and 30 seconds we're going to participate in the sale open some packs live hopefully you guys can chat and tell us what you guys got if you got anything cool we've gone live for top shot we've gone live for the shatner sale so yeah, uh def- definitely want to uh kind of take part in this sale today and also see what you guys get on your end, man. So that's kind of the lineup for today. Uh, we're getting ready, man. I get, so, so one question, uh, Ronan, so yeah. you've got wax.cogs.gg. That's right. where you're going to physically open. I don't see like a Correct. dashboard where that's so going. Is that, is that, that kind of like should update? Go live? They said by the time the sale starts. So okay. hopefully that happens. Obviously this is going to be fluid. I, I, I'm expecting that not to happen okay. right off the bat. And I'm also expecting Atomic Hub probably to have a hiccup right off the bat. Um, okay. Because I'm checking out, um, you know, uh, I'm checking out the chat. We've got way more people uh, on the Discord servers than we usually do. Um, mm-hmm. Telegram is popping off. There's been like 192 messages in, in these chats in the last like two and a half minutes. The, I, people are getting ready. And I think people mm-hmm. are getting excited. Um, so what? actually talking about chat, why don't we catch up with chat? Discord. Um, Art, you're my special place, buddy. <laughs> um, that's actually all we've got there. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Hey, real quick, what, how much wax do you want, man? I know you need some wax. I'm I'm in my wax cloud wallet. What are you What are you looking for? Are you looking for big monies? <laughs> yeah, man. I'll I'll PM you. Uh, okay, I'll sounds good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we got about 19 in YouTube. We appreciate y'all stopping by. Scott's in the chat, a lad, one of our uh, best lads that we got in the chat here. Pork Shake saying, send the card to me. Uh, we'll see what we do with that giveaway, Pork Shake. Um, Mephidos is saying, what's the recommended buy? Eight boosters, two starters. A bunch of people in the chat looking to try to find the best combination here, man. So if you guys want the best combo, we've got the wizard right here. Uh, he's been involved. He's been involved in the cog. So uh, yeah, just I for think, the people that missed it, what's, what's the best combo that you need to go with here? Yeah, I think, okay. So like strategy wise, right. Cause everybody likes to talk strategy, like strategy, what's your strategy. Okay. So strategy wise, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up, um, I'm probably going to do like five starter packs, I think. And then, um, I'm going to pick up a slew of um, booster packs. And I think okay. that, you know, if you intend to play the game, um, but you're kind of like on a budget, right? Like bare minimum, pick up one starter pack because you're going to need a slammer to be able to play the game, right? We don't, mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe if Ark or anybody from the team is on, we can remember this for later, um, you know, if, if they're not, um, how many cogs you'll need to play around but i would Mm. imagine like a starter pack gives you enough so probably more than likely you'll use 10 or 15 cogs um and then booster packs are just 
if you really want to get into it, you want to try to collect, you want to diversify. Uh, if you want to take part on what's going on today, look like people are going to be super active today, tomorrow, hopefully, um, trading these things, trying to collect their sets. There's so many opportunity for different collectors, right? Like, what do you mm. like? Do you like locations? They've got a location set. Are you really into colors? Well, you can collect, you know, all of the the sets that you like in a specific color. Do you like a specific border? Like there's a guy on the discord, uh, you know who I'm talking about, Pete, um, who likes the, the border that they call pineapple, right? It's like a green mm. border with like a yellow top and it looks like a pineapple border, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Um, if that's your thing, go with that. Uh, and then me personally, I'm probably going to be going for those micro sets you were talking about, which is basically like a, a sequence of cogs, right? That show mm. something taking place over the sequence. So the one that they've shown us so far, the teaser that we got was um, the fox and the egg. The first one in the sequence is an egg. The second one is the egg breaking. You can see kind of the top of the fox's head. And then the last one is the fox, like uh, the red fox itself. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of cool opportunities, a lot of cool like stuff going on. We've only got two and a half minutes basically. I'm super hyped, dude. I'm yeah, this is my this is my favorite part of the sale, man. Right yeah. before when it goes, <laughs> right I know before. we've had a, I know we've had some issues uh, with blockchain heroes, like the wax cloud wallet was messed up. I didn't take part in the wax cloud wall I or the uh, blockchain heroes. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see like what type of thing goes on with the wax cloud wall today. Um, yeah. I have wax dot that cogs dot gg pulled up over here. I've got the actual atomic hub here where I'm going to actually purchase them. So Correct. hopefully we can't get into this very quickly and do some card opening on yeah. the chat, man. It's going to be What about fun. chat? What do you, especially discord, the guys in discord have been hanging out like every day. What's cool is like the, the dev team has hopped into discord every morning, um, given us some sneak peeks, uh, shown us some really cool art that's coming to us. You know, we got to see the pack art before they released it on Twitter. Um, mm -hmm. So what, what about you guys, man? Discord, what's popping? Like, you guys let me know, like, what are you guys like, looking forward to? I know some of you guys are really into the colors. Some of you guys are looking uh, at the funny ones, right? Okay, so so with GPK, Fat Matt became, like, that weird card that was mm. so out there that, that everybody had to have it, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I think we identified the COG version of, of Fat Matt. So if you want Already. to down low, okay, we've got a minute and a half left. So I'm going to let you know the cog that you need to hoard if you really want to find value, okay, Guys, compared, to other, compared to other cards, okay? This one is going to be, let me find out what they called it. I don't remember the name for it, but I want to make sure I call it the correct name because when Discord saw it, um, everybody <coughs> was super, super excited. Um, it's, it's basically, um, I think it's called the moon. Okay. Ah, interesting. Of course. And it is had to be a super close up of the face of the moon with this really awkward smiley face drawn on it. Okay. It is the, the most it looks like a potato moon is what we were calling it in, in chat when they released it. Um and I'm trying All to right. get it pulled up so I can so I can show you guys. Potato um, moon as potato as moon. we so if you as want we to go know to where six... the value is, it's the potato moon. Forty five seconds left, guys. We got thirty seconds. Uh, oh, okay. So we got to have a countdown. This is what we should do from now on. Oh, we yeah, have the like, like a sound effect or something like a, yeah. the, the Rocky, like the tiger thing. You know what Just I mean? Just like a like, rocket like, boosting off. Like, yeah. You need to like, I need to get a, a track pulled up in Spotify to get chat hype. You know what I mean? hundred percent guys. Good luck. We got about 20 seconds left. Good luck to everybody. We'll see what happens. I'll see you on the other side. Ronan's going to be there That's opening right. packs live. So we'll see what happens. But yeah. guys, usually, usually we get pretty quiet trying to get this done uh, for the <laughs> next like 30 seconds. So here we go. Good luck to everybody. we got five seconds, four, yeah. three, two. Let's see what happens. Let's see how it works. And they go live. <laughs> All right. I'm going to snatch my, uh, I'm going to grab a couple of starter packs first, obviously. That's where we want to go. I'm gonna pull this stuff over here on my side window, so you guys don't don't try to hack me. Mm. <sighs> All right. All right. See my wax I'm claw wall is not working. <gasps> oh no, mine's working. But I was signed in. Were you already signed in or no? Yep. You were. Where are you stuck? All right. Is everybody stuck? I'm, it's I like a, a, it's in like an approve. It's in an approve mode. I know the wax team is probably sitting there like on pins or the cogs team. They're, they've got to be on pins and needles right now. Approve. Yeah. It's not approving. I'm stuck on approve as well. <laughs> yeah. It might be something. Yeah. I don't what know. What are the telegram and discord links what? pork? Let me get you the discord link. I don't have the um, telegram uh, open though. 
it wouldn't be a sale without this kind of situation nope, happening. Yeah, did. yeah, it wouldn't be a sale. 100%. Guys, what's going on on your end? Let us know. Now, now my now the wallet's not kind of loading for me. Yeah, um, mine's stuck on the side. I got mine pulled over here too. Approve, approve. <laughs> Now, yeah, now I'm not even getting a loading screen. Guys, are you getting in? I want to know who's got who's got in here. Who's got who's passed? Got you know what you can do too. I should have had um, a screen ready. I let, while while we're trying to get in, let's see if people are starting to actually um, pool because they I think they have the they, website for the openings down. So we can't feed. get your cards. Yeah, no drops yet. So the live feed hasn't updated yet either. So this may end up actually being something oh. on Atomic Hub side. I'm not it sure. Well, it looks like they're wax.cogs.gg is down as well. If there's a 508 error, so uh, uh, if you go to that website and you refresh, it's uh, down. Well, Cog, guys, wax.cogs.gg that was should have been launching. Yeah, so we're crashing their servers. I'm not surprised, man. Like a lot of people were questioning it ooh, a couple of days ago. Did you get? I just in? got it. Yeah, okay. yeah. If you want to refresh, I just got oh, three. Oh, I think mine's going through. Mine just went through. I got three starters. Let's see I if got, we can't get to wax.cog. Yep. Yeah, everyone now everyone's gonna rush into this now website. Everyone, now everyone's like, they got in. Go, go, go. All right. Check on your wax cloud wallet. You might be able to check if you did in fact get those car those packs. Yeah, the, the packs are there. Um, Sweet kid. Okay, hold on. So you can see them on um what all wax, access. Yeah, the wax cloud wallet. Yeah, all access. Yep. Yeah. Okay, guys. So this is this is the situation. Everyone's got their packs. Hopefully, I think that that side got figured out. We have a 508 error on the website, so it looks like we crashed uh, the Still cogs loading. website. Long here says he's got his ten packs. Scott Harris bought one. Uh, Papa Bear's got two starter packs. Um, a lot of people got the same screen. They can't pack Daddy. Uh, Pork Shake. He's successful. Um, uh, yo, did you get the uh, did you get the wax I sent you? By the way. Just making oh, yeah, sure that yeah. that got confirmed. Okay. Okay. Yep, perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no worries. I just want to make sure That's I don't clutch. want to send it off into the ether. Yep. That's clutch, man. I appreciate it. Cogs official. Oh. Ooh. Ben just said in Telegram chat, it will be pushed back one hour. <gasps> oh, the whack, the pack openings. Oh, that's Ben. Oh, uh, no. CERN's in the chat saying Ben just said in Telegram chat, we'll be pushing. Let's see what's going down, guys. Oh, no. Get into, yeah, Those guys, get into that they've got to be heartbroken if that's the case. How do we open the packs after purchase? Uh, Crypto Mover in Discord. You are going to go to wax.cogs.gg. Unfortunately, the site and, is and down there. at the moment. And hang out and hang out. Oh, yeah, man. I, I, Everyone's sitting on the same page, guys. We're all we're all in the 508 error. Cryptophasia got himself a pack. Love that, man. Another lad. We got a ton of lads in the chat right now. We got Brandon. We got Cryptophasia. Scott's in the chat. Papa Bear's in the chat. Guys, if you want to join the lads community, go down to the uh, description. You can get a Telegram link to our waiting room. We can get you into the lads chat. Lads is basically the community that uh, surrounds... And if, or I guess surrounds is probably not the right word that almost powers layer one powers mm -hmm. NFT live. Uh, that's a community that's involved here. So get in that chat, Real quick, join um, the lads. Yep. I wanted to check in. Thank you so much, uh, Allegria. Um, we are also now joined by the gamers hub wax, uh, whale community. Uh, we appreciate you guys in there hanging out and chat with us this morning, guys. Sorry. It took me a minute to get to you. Um, let's see what you guys are saying. Breathless says there's a delay. Um, Decryptolorian in Discord, 20 bucks for a starter, $5 for a booster. Yeah, pretty much. Essentially, that's the, the price breakdown. Um, pretty decent when you compare it to, I think, what we pay 25 for the uh, starter packs in uh, GBK yep. and TK. So mm -hmm. not too bad. Uh, Breathless says he signed up <laughs> uh, with a couple of emails. Um, announce all about the Nanu Nanu. As Modi, you're going to have to explain that one to me, buddy. I didn't get the reference. I apologize. All right, so we've got a ton of people in here with cards. We are waiting on this website to kind of restart here, kind of reboot, and and I think we crashed it by all trying to go to it at once. So everyone's got their packs in hand. We're trying to get to this website. Uh, did we get a confirmation from the team on whether it's going to take an hour? I've not seen anything official on Discord just yet. Um, got pack already from Soil. Uh, not gonna, he's not going to be able to open it anytime soon. Uh, a lot of people asking about how to open in chat. You guys, you're going to want to go to wax.cogs.gg, but but 
lay off of the servers for a little while. Let's not try to refresh too much, right? Um, because that does help them, honestly, uh, if we're not hammering their servers on the back end. So we're going to let that hang out for a minute. Um, I've got, we're locked and loaded with some packs. Um, I'm definitely seeing them. If you want to confirm that you guys have received your packs, you can go to your Wax Cloud wallet um, and you're going to see both of those packs in there. Yeah. So, so Ben actually did say something he said, uh, okay. and this comes directly from the wax cogs. He's Ben Fairbank. It says he's an admin. Uh, hi all, please note, we'll be pushing back exactly one hour. We apologize, but we need to make sure we have a smooth experience and we need to make sure the pack opening on the wax.cogs.gg site works as it's supposed to. We don't want you buying and then being not able to open them smoothly. I apologize for any inconvenience and please know we just want to make sure this is right. So yeah. it, it looks like the sale on Atomics Hubs went through Yep. And we do have packs, and now we're waiting for that cogs.gg uh, yeah. site to kind of load back up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that you know the initial that initial like rush is is, is going to break servers. Um, you know, it's it's happened on every drop just about. Uh, GBK was lucky in that it did, people didn't know about it, right? But as soon as TK and, and everything after that came out, like we've had all types of server issues when these things come out. So unfortunately, we're in like an alpha of of, of NFTs, right? So. Um, but we do appreciate you guys being here, hanging out with us. Uh, hopefully, we can keep the conversation going. We can keep you guys interested. Um, we've got that's some, a that's a tough ask, man. That, one we don't have uh, anything to look at. Um, let's see. There, the good thing is, is that I do know that we do have the ability to go in here. We can check out. Let's go ahead and like preview some of the art. Yeah, that's that's fine too. And then uh, if you want to pull up Atomic Hubs in in that little dashboard right there that was selling the actual cogs, mm -hmm. uh, it looks like there's a there's actually like an updating uh, and live feed of what actually is being sold. Uh, okay. So you got three thousand one hundred ninety one of the starter packs being sold, while booster sets or booster packs two thousand one hundred fifty five. So I don't know the math on that. Let me do that real quick uh, on my end. Where are you seeing those numbers? Uh, it's right under uh, the collection. Oh, account. Cogs Tools. Um, it's actually on the dashboard where you're seeing the sale. So, oh, yeah, I got you. Right in, the, right in the middle there. Um, let me see. <laughs> Already a hundred thousand Pogs have been purchased. So what? twelve. It looks like about twelve thousand five hundred from the start, the booster pack, and. Somebody already did their math in their head. Uh, wow. I'm sure. Seventy-two thousand five hundred eighty dollars. So about a hundred k right off the bat, guys. Which is not unusual for for some wax sales, but it's definitely a sign that people are trying to buy these up. I think that's kind of the that, that's what we've seen, right? The cap has been a hundred k, but that's, that's because of supply. Thing. That's because the supply is capped. So we'll see the supply is not capped here. So we'll see okay. what the appetite is for from the wax community, from the COGS community. We'll see what the appetite is. We'll see what this runs up to. But it looks like about 100K uh, is what's being sold up to this point. Very That's cool. what's been sold on the other sales up and they, they, they cap yeah. that supply. So now, we'll see where this runs to experience going, right? Like once people can start opening packs and seeing the, the cogs that they have and start like trading and, and, and understanding like, okay, this is the set that I've got a couple in, maybe I want to go ahead and complete this set, or I've got a handful of this border color. I'm going to try to get them in this color. Um, mm -hmm. Once people can start actually looking at them, um, they can get it. So over in gamers hub, let me answer a couple questions real quick. Uh, what's a wax <laughs> trying to watch this read the comments and participate in the meetings is a little challenging rune um wax is a cryptocurrency um it's used on the wax platform if you go to um what is it, it is oh, wax.io straight up wax.io oh ben good what's hey what's going up on, ben buddy? hey this is ben uh, from uh the cog uh our fox team yeah um wow okay so uh ben give us the update yeah, I'd love to, mate. Um, what we were thinking is we try and cut this off at the pass, but obviously uh, this has been uh, overwhelming and um, we're trying to make sure that we get it so that people can open their packs as quickly as we possibly can. So uh, the thing is that um, no one's been able to, so it's not like anyone's got a, a massive advantage. I know that people are messaging nonstop. Uh, we tried to push it. We thought we'll push it back it back mm -hmm. we'll just make sure that everyone can do this smoothly first thing um we saw was obviously that uh, there was that issue there um and then we 
I, I, to be honest, I'm still trying to work out. Uh, demand looks like it's absolutely out of control. Um, so we've got people that are unable to open packs. We're working on getting that up as quickly as we possibly can. We did explain that we would try and get that done as quickly as we possibly can. I can only apologise profusely. Um, not much we can do in that situation. Um, but I think the good thing is the complaints we're getting is that people can't open it. Where do I go? How do I open my pack? Mm -hmm. I, I guess the one positive is people are not saying I can't get anything or I'm out. Or, um, Definitely. Yeah, so all I can do is apologise profusely. We did, uh, this was overwhelming demand. Um, and yeah, that's all I can do. So, all I can so do is apologise. Yeah. 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 Ben, it wouldn't be a wax sale without some of these situations coming up, man. This has happened. I figure like every time there's been a wax sale. So I think the community is uh, noticing that a little bit, but we appreciate you, you coming on live here. So I had one question uh, yeah, for you. Why, why is the supply uncapped? I know, I know there's like a ton of people in the chat that have been used to GPKs that have been used yeah. to some of the other sales on wax. Those have been capped. Why uncapped? Yeah, yeah, sure. So this is the first one that's really gone down the uh, route of being, um, of being a game, you know. So um, as a result of that, you need pieces to play the game. You can't be in a situation where you've got uh, not enough players that don't have enough pieces. Uh, so it's really important that we had game pieces. But what we wanted to do was set this up to be the first proper adopted thing that was put out. So people have been saying we want a game as well as also a collectible um, and what we wanted to do is we wanted to bring in crowds. We want to make sure that it's um, got that nostalgic appeal as well. And for this to do what we want it to do and for it to be viral, you need to have the volumes. Now, uh, every other series has gone through and sold out very quickly, like nine minutes. Mm -hmm. as, as our game designer said, which is a very good point, um, you don't open Disneyland for nine minutes. The thing is... Um, <laughs> You, you don't open Disneyland for nine minutes. The thing is that you you make the first set limited in its supply. You make the concurrent sets cheap and you put out a lot. So you do it for like, say, three months, six months, just like Magic the Gathering. Then what actually happens is people turn around and they understand going in that they're paying a very cheap price for a pack and they turn around and they say the commons are worth nothing. The, the uncommons are worth almost nothing as well. The rares are worth something and you might sort of get your money back and then once you get up to the ultra rare levels as is the same case with every collection you are making some serious bank the first set, this is never to be repeated these unlock other games this is not something that you're going to be able to get again once edition one is gone it is finished uh even three hours by traditional means is very 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 short uh it's it's unheard of it doesn't happen so um yeah, so we're working as quickly as we possibly can to try and make sure that the site, uh, the, the opening site is up. Uh, the good thing about the rarities is it means that people are going to have 3,414 combinations. Um, the, the mint numbers are going to be low because of the combinations. Mm -hmm. um, I'm happy to answer any questions that people have got as well. I'm assuming that people are uh, throwing tomatoes and... Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying honestly like I think that everybody's kind of understanding for the most part especially in YouTube you guys are awesome you guys are rocking it in chat thank you so much for hanging out with us today um it, they're pretty they're pretty tame there discord um you know you know our little discord community that that you guys have got going it's 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 really um everybody supports each other so everybody kind of understands I, th I think we're okay but if anybody in chat has got questions feel free to throw them out we'll we'll um pass them on to Ben for you we're in uh, three different chats, so I'm kind of hopping between them um, to make sure we get everybody covered. Um, overall, though, yeah. I, I, overall though, the numbers look great. I mean, they're already starting to crunch the numbers in chat. Yeah, Ben, you're, you guys are uh, closing up on 100K here, so uh, congratulations there to, to the sale, man. I mean, we, we just started, so we'll see yeah. where it ends up. Uh, we've, we've talked about the supply, and, and you've touched on that, which I appreciate that answer. It'll be interesting to see the appetite from the community because all of those other sales have been capped, and then you see the sales on the secondary market. So interesting where we'll end up with this sale, man, but congratulations on, on the early success for sure. Thank you, mate. We know that we know for a fact that what will happen is um... – we, we, well, if you crunch numbers and you, you extend stuff out over time, what will happen is people will go for a frenzy in the beginning. They'll try and get um, low mints. Then people will start to work out, hey, this is a quite a complicated set. What do I want to get? And then towards the end, 
of the three hours, you would assume that it would spike again because people start to realise this is my last chance to get these things before they um before they come up. Yeah, most so, definitely. Yeah, so um, I I will be um, working feverishly to try and get an update on exactly how long it's going to be before the packs are opened. And what we'll do is we'll make sure that we um are announcing that prior. We'll announce that uh, and say we're coming up to you know go live in five minutes or whatever. We want everybody to have an equal chance to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, take capacity. It'll be interesting to see how the capacity will go with everyone trying to open. Um, but we, I guess, all we can do, as I say, is apologise. We're, we're right here. Uh, we're not going anywhere. Yeah. And the cogs aren't going anywhere either. They're, they're in the packs. Uh, anyway. ben, ben, I got a couple questions from the community here. They, they're asking, will the sale be four hours? Uh, will it be extended, uh, basically? Is that, is that going to extend now so you'll have four hours once we get to 11 o'clock? Well, it was three. It was always three hours, okay. and no, it won't, it won't extend. Um, so, the fact is, people people are still buying packs right now. I assume I have not looked at the numbers not once, so I have no idea. You're telling me, um, <laughs> are they still buying packs now? Yes, they're still. The numbers number is still going up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so the answer is no. It will not be. We won't extend the time um, because people can still get in. Um, we will keep it at what we've said. That. It just means that the opening time they're going to get less less than three hours to open. Got it. Yep, yep. That so makes sense. We'll at that uh, at that level. Um, so what we'll do is I'll I'll, I'll I'll jump off for five minutes so that I can talk to the guys and I'll come back. Uh, as I said, we're not going to um, we're not hiding from this. We apologise profusely. Obviously, we've spent a long time, well over a year, getting this all together. So this is something that we apologise for. We will come back. We will give you an update. Um, good news is this time you don't have a bunch of people that say I, I couldn't get in. Um, we, will, we will come back with the exact opening time very shortly. Save up any questions you've got and I'll happily answer those. Sounds Amazing. good. Thank you so much for hopping in with us. We really appreciate it, Ben. No worries. Thanks, guys. See you. Right, thanks, bud. So very cool, very cool. So now we've got an update straight from the 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 creators, right? Um, so we know it's coming. We now we understand that the demand is through the roof, and I think that by the numbers that you threw out, um, it makes sense, right? So uh, I think a lot of people definitely knew about Cogs. I think people kind of underplayed what it could be and what the potential was, and then all of a sudden, like the light clicked for people yesterday, man, the, the telegram started popping off. The discord started seeing tons of action. I mean, it's mm -hmm. been nonstop communication, nonstop, you know, excitement. Um, so they've definitely got a product here that I think people are excited about. And I think that we're willing to kind of hang out and hopefully, uh, uh, stick through this one together. <laughs> Yeah, hundred percent, guys. We got a ton of things to get to uh, as this sale continues to go on. Uh, if you're just popping in, you can go to Atomic Hubs uh, or AtomicHub.io. Uh, you can actually go and buy some packs right now. So if you haven't done that yet, uh, that's where you would go. It looks like three thousand six hundred ninety-four of these starter packs, the larger packs of uh, twenty-five cards, have been our twenty-five cogs have been sold. 2795 of the booster pack. So you will have, I believe, three hours. So a little bit under three hours now uh, to buy some of these packs. And then all of that, like, there will never be any more created from this sale uh, like ever. So we'll see uh, where the... The appetite is. We appreciate you guys popping in. We've got Crypto Buffalo saying, good morning, fellas. Two NFT live shows in one week. Just dropped yeah. 1K on some cogs. Played pogs back in elementary school. Super stoked to see what fun little goodies I've acquired. So, yeah, definitely yeah. Uh, parrot those comments, Crypto. Good to see you. Good to yeah, see you, Buffalo. Thank you so much for joining us, bud. And thank you again to everybody who's joining us in the uh, Gamer Hub community as well as the Discord for the official um, cogs. Um, I'm not seeing too many questions, so, uh, I assume you guys don't have any at the moment, but if you do, please feel free to drop them in chat. We'll keep track of those questions. That way we can ask Ben about them when he does return, um, and drop back in to give us an update. I'm yeah, trying perfect. to find, okay. So I don't know what, why I can't find it, but there's definitely a way to view all of the, the cogs themselves. I'm trying to figure out how we can see that. 
So Mike, Mike, uh, you're saying, do you have to buy in wax currency or can you buy with credit card? It looks like this is going to be a wax currency. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a fully wax, wax P only uh, token sale, correct? 100%. Yep, 100%. Okay. So but if you're wanting to use your credit card, the easiest way is going to be to do it directly through your wax wallet. However, it is kind of pricey when it comes to the um, the fees. You have to pay a $5 fee regardless of how much um, wax you're trying to buy. And then you're also going to have um, the fee on how much like the actual uh transaction rate so like if it's like you know 0.055 us dollars so, you're gonna pay 0.06 you know what i mean they're, they're tacking on a little bit there as well so it looks guys it looks like there's num there's a mint number on these cards there is a mint number 100 percent. there's a mint number the mint numbers exist so, so that's what okay so where the rarity comes from because you you asked like why the unlimited so the reason that that's there is because of the fact that literally like yes there are mint numbers but like because of the odds and so many variations like these mint numbers should stay low compared to i mean you consider that the let's say we do the same volume that any of the mm -hmm. other ones have done so far okay um you're looking at 80 uh 80 different number one mints in gbk mm -hmm. and 100 number one mints in bch max that's that that you could only have a hundred number one mints as far as the core set goes, right? Of BCH. Compare that to three thousand four hundred and fourteen, right? Mm -hmm. There's just more opportunity for low mint numbers, which means to me, I feel like that's almost like a fan service thing, right? Like it's like if you're a collector, like and you really want to get into this thing, like knowing that you could pick your set and go out there and get it and have a good opportunity of getting low mint numbers for your set is kind of cool. Mm. Yeah, absolutely, man. I'm looking at collectibles now. Uh, it looks like somebody. So here's the situation. Based on uh, the the past sales, someone actually sold their 25 cog starter pack for eleven dollars, which makes no sense. There's been five sales on uh, collectibles up to this point, but you guys can go to collectibles.io. Uh, now the the it looks like the number one mint for these starter packs is on sale now uh and oh, that the starter pack itself the starter the starter the number one that's what i was that's what i was oh, talking about there's mints to I'm the i'm sorry i misunderstood what you were saying yeah so if you go to collectibles.io and, and run it you might be able to go you yep. you basically connect your wallet uh guys this is created by a really cool developer named syed mm -hmm. uh i don't know how to say his name so i always get it uh, confused but go to collectibles.io you can go and see uh, once you connect your wax wallet. Uh, it's just another kind of interface, but it is a secondary marketplace. So this is where I go to sell all of my cards and buy all my cards post sale, uh, post original sale. Uh, but you can see, you can see all the listings. You can see the sale log. You can go to your inventory and check out what the mint numbers is. It looks like my mint number is fourteen seven four. So good god wow uh, so the, by the time th we got in we were already in the 2000s of packs which was yeah which lends me to believe that maybe was there was there a uh i know like limits have been placed on accounts in certain sales i wonder because the supply is not capped there was probably no limit so there wasn't probably a whale that got in because we got in like super early i thought we got yeah. in like really quick dude <laughs> i thought we got yeah. in super fast yeah man it look, does look like somebody's got i don't know if these are just negative numbers because maybe programming is off somewhere but I imagine that's the number two out of 37. Yeah, I think it's just a dash. Right? Yeah. I think yeah. it's just a dash. Oh, it's just a dash. Got it. Okay. Uh, I, mean, yeah. I feel like the GPK ones don't have that. Okay. Yeah, it's probably yeah. something on, oh, on the developer side. Oh, it's because there's a, there, the, the cog name isn't there like they are on the base. Long hair got a number two mint starter pack. Congrats, man. That's Shut amazing. up, dude. Congratulations, man. That's awesome, dude. You need to hodl that bad boy. So, so Kieran, you're not too like Kieran. Kieran's uh, one of, I think the number one lad. So I got to give a shout out to our number one lad here. Kieran's asking if he's too late. So Kieran, the situation nope. here is uh, you go to Atomic Hub, you connect your wax wallet uh, and you're going to buy these cards. No one's been able to open these packs yet. They pushed it an hour. So basically what you'll do is buy these packs on Atomic Hub and we're all waiting for wax.cogs.gg to uh populate uh we crashed the website so no you can actually get these low mints on some of these cogs once everybody can open packs that's the situation up to this point uh we have it ben's gonna come back in here the guys from the team uh, uh are gonna come back in here and, and kind of discuss what okay so let's 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 take advantage of this opportunity right this this <laughs> rare it. opportunity okay because i like to look at the bright side of things plus it's a beautiful day like it's a great start to the day um 
what if that was and obviously i don't think this is the case with this situation the site crash we all saw that the five of the limit res or resource problem right but what if a launch decided to do that purposefully what if a launch mm. decided to give you an hour or two hour window to buy packs prior to when you could actually crack them thus giving you an opportunity everyone an opportunity to be able to start opening low min numbers because right because that's the next thing right like now everybody's <laughs> got a new timer like everybody's got a timer for 34 minutes right now that that's like okay at, at 11 a.m when they launch this i'm slamming the servers again because mm -hmm. i want my low mint numbers right so what if like bch decided to do that with their next drop but they were like we're selling like you know unlimited packs and then at 12 noon packs stop getting sold and then you can open your packs mm-hmm I would say that most people in crypto are conspiracy theorists. So that they think is there's the, something <laughs> shady about that. Like, oh yeah. Oh, they crashed the ETH website. And by the time yeah. it's 12, it's going to all be gone. And it's going to be, yeah. A well, <laughs> I, I think it's, I think it's a good idea. I also think uh, playing devil's advocate there, you do yeah. lose the aspect of like opening your, or getting as your cards you... and wanting to go to run to open them like you yeah. would in any other situation. But that does make sense. I think if you did like a, 30 minute window where maybe people wouldn't have to wait that long it's not a, it's not a bad idea it's not a bad idea yeah. um so yeah so i mean we got a ton of people in the chat yeah man. uh one of the questions i do want to get to which is interesting and it, and it kind of plays itself to the the card openings on like blockchain mechanics uh rival sky games is saying does a code for minting cogs execute when we buy or when we open as in if we open tonight will we have different cogs than if we open in a week that's an interesting question. I know the mint number obviously happens when you open it. So the faster you open it, the, the better mint you're getting. But the actual cards within them, I don't know if that's RNG. I don't, and and I, I that's that's where I lean. So, so what, there, you know, yeah. So um, the the mint for the cog is determined when you open the pack. So they're not predetermined. Well, well he means he doesn't mean the mint. He means the the type of car the cog. The oh, the type of cog. Mm -hmm. That same thing. So when okay. you, the, the token that you have right now literally has no connection to the system whatsoever. Got when it. you turn it in, that's when the odds are rolled and you're delivered with, um, yeah, your the the pack. So the pack holds nothing. Got it. Got it. Yeah. yeah. So that that answers that question directly. So if you did open it in a week, you will have different cards. And if you open it from right from now. second to second, honestly, yes, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. It's almost like um, it's almost like a token for you know, like a a, a game, like you know, a, a arcade or something. You get the token and you decide which you know arcade game you want to play, and then when you drop it in there, you have access, and then that's what kind of kicks it off. So, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, cool. So we got thirty three people in the chat right now. Kieran said he's sitting this one it's out. Busy? No, Kieran. You should at least pick up <laughs> one pack. One pack. I promise, man. It's gonna be worth it. I really do. Like, I really think that the the structure that they've got to it just makes sense. Every you guys have to understand every everything that comes out for, by this team from after this set forever is gonna be more like a week, yeah, or two weeks, or available for a month. Um, are they gonna do limited sets? Probably they'll do limited sets at some point. But for the most part, this is going to be the rarest cog run mm -hmm. ever, period. It'll never be this small again. I mean, it's a game, right? Yeah. Like you go, you look at Fortnite, they've got skins that are on sale for a week or two at a time, and then they come back every other month. And so you know what I mean? So the the it's it is what it is. This is yeah. the set for collectors. This is the set if you want to secure, you know, valuable mint numbers and that sort of thing. Yeah, Everybody's I'm probably got gonna. An opportunity. I'm probably gonna have to go back later uh, at some point. I don't know how that that mechanic will work with future sales, but I don't know if I'm gonna risk some of these early cogs that we get in a PvP setup because I know again there's that PvP setup where I can battle Kieran <laughs> and I can take the non-existent cards that he doesn't have because he didn't participate in the sale. Uh, but but uh, <laughs> no, he's yeah, gonna man, participate. I, yeah. You see what I did? Uh, yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm a, I used to be a sales guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so, so, I, so I really do think it's smart though, Kieran. I really do. Um Scott in chat, um what are these cards that I bought? <laughs> And he yeah. says, what's the game? Um, somebody also asked a little while ago, what are, like, what do they do? Um, so if you don't know, COGS stands for, do you remember? I'm going to quiz you now, Q. Keys for other games? <laughs> yeah, keys to other games. Perfect. Um, other and games. what they're going to do with it is they will hopefully, and they already have these, th these things kind of starting in, and partnerships working. Uh, they'll partner with other companies and you'll be able to unlock special, um, mm -hmm. special, you know, stuff with them, skins, levels 
characters, mm -hmm. you name it, as long as they accept the NFT as like a transaction. So any blockchain game from now until infinity can eventually work something out with these guys to make these tangible, usable tokens. Interesting. Okay. So I know we have some traders in the chat guys. So, uh, Kieran actually is saying he picked one up. So your sales job there is secure, uh, Ronan that definitely, uh, worked out, uh, guys. So if you are a trader, cause I, I look at it from both aspects. I think I fall somewhere in between. I'm definitely a gamer. Mm -hmm. Ronan was telling me last night that I need to stop playing league of legends, uh, which is, <laughs> which you, is definitely when something. In, I, when you jumped in, uh, in, in the zoom chat last week and you were like, I'm still getting ready. I'll be right back. You walked away and I was like, that dude was up all night playing league. I know how it is. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's tough out here. You got to rank <laughs> up, man. We're trying to get the plat here. But uh, so so we have some traders in the chat. We've got some yeah. gamers. Uh, certainly everybody falls along that spectrum. Uh, for the traders, man, it's it's interesting because the, the mint ones, I think, will always do well. I think you have a good chance of being able to recoup your money and then some. Uh, the, the difference Which about this answers, that you, you um, I'm sorry. Somebody asked in why is the mint number one pack going for so much? That's exactly why. Because the, the the mint numbers matter to collectors. So the yeah. number one mint of the pack itself, someone is going to want that in their collection. Um, you know what I mean? Like people are going to want to be able to say, like, I got the number two out the gate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get on my soapbox here in a second. Uh, but for those traders, uh, you, you guys have to realize that there's no supply cap here. So it'll be interesting to see what we get up to. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be different than the, the sold out sales that we see in the past. So just be wary as far as uh, trying to flip these packs like you would the others, because if this is a new mechanic and un an uncapped supply uh, definitely changes that dynamic a bit. But let Absolutely. me hop up on my soapbox here for a second, because I am seeing some sales come through on the sale log on collectibles.io. Uh, and uh, if you want to get on there, you can. But this is an issue I've had since the genesis of NFTs, man. And, and by genesis of NFTs, I mean CryptoKitties. Everybody knows about the CryptoKitty back in the day, the Genesis Zero, the number one, Mint One, essentially. That wasn't the term back then, but you did have the Genesis Zero CryptoKitty sold for 100K. This is an issue I have with NFTs and, and, and the sales that go on around them. You, it's, it's anonymous, you don't know what wallet is being sent to which wallet. So while, yes, I do believe the number one mint uh, starter pack here can go for whatever it went for. I think it went for a ton um, or is being sold for a ton. The fact that there's fours and fives and threes being sold for like 250 bucks, it, it doesn't, it, it, it rubs me the wrong way. I think there are users out there that send between accounts. Now, mm -hmm. I'm not saying this is the team at all. It, sure. It's more likely users that are trying to pump up the, the Their market. Their product and, and they and, just dumped tons of money in, 100%. Well, yeah, they're, tra they're trying to manipulate it. And there's no fees on Wax. So they really, like where you would get that uh, fee on a product like ETH and right. you'd actually Which be kind of- still deals uh, with wash trading. Yeah, which still deals with wash trading, but right. uh, you know, Rari has. Uh, you're talking about that Rari situation. Rari has enough where the person on the other end that's doing the wash trading feels like they're getting more Rari in return for the ETH that they lost. But just to hop off the box, uh, whenever I see a two hundred forty three dollar, two hundred fifty dollar sale on something that they just bought for twenty five bucks, and it's the number five mint. I mean, there's a twenty five dollar one that's selling for or twenty five bucks. Uh, Anyways, off the off the soapbox, it looks like ten thousand totally wax was yeah. sold, uh, five hundred thirty nine dollars worth for that number one, which makes sense. It is a number yeah. one, but yeah. whenever there's a number two, number three, number four, I tend to lean to the towards the side of conspiracy theorists of saying I think that's the user sending it to themselves to kind of inflate their mm -hmm. product that they're holding. So that's yeah. that's I that's my that only thing. It happens to every every team. It happens all over the place and people are going to do it. I think that you're going to have a mix of genuine and you're also going to have a mix of just not genuine transactions, right? Like, um, I think that if the guy who pulled the number one starter pack threw it up there, I have no doubt that somebody mm -hmm. saw it and said, I want it. I would or say that. Or somebody looked at it and said, that's a really low price. And in a year, it'll be worth four times that. Mm -hmm. some people feel that way about products some people like invest in things that way and and, and if they believe in it they're going to spend the money mm -hmm. with that said there's also those guys who are going to buy and realize oh they got a number one mint of 
you know, lazy Sue and they're going to sell it to themselves for 10 K and hope that the yeah. number two that they also pulled, uh, sells for somewhere near that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so it makes sense. If you guys are watching, they're, they're still selling massive packs. I mean, somebody just picked up 25. There's a five, there's let's four, see. two, three, four sales let's, are just rocking, dude. Let's, let's plug this into the old cow and see what, what they're getting close to. They're, they're... While, yeah. While, while you review that real quick, I'm going to just check chat. Okay. Yeah. No worries. 15 K. They are going dangerously close to that 100K number. I think they're about 98, 99,000 at this point. So they're about to hit 100K in sales on this sale. So congratulations to the team. Dude, once we can open our packs and people start seeing these, Mm -hmm. you know know what I mean? Like seriously, like this is going to be – I can't wait, dude. I can't wait. I can't wait for you to pull – like I can't wait for us to pull our first like – ultra rare or foil like and if we don't pull it in the first like few packs i'm in trouble because we're gonna keep going (laughs) yeah definitely i'm gonna keep going i'm not i'm not saving any of these packs knowing knowing that i have the 14th hundred mint of a pack i'm not saving any of these i'm trying to get the yeah Yeah. so so guys this is a situation that happened with nba top shot i don't think oh no no it was shatner uh what we had was the interface was showing me that I was opening the cards, but you have to wait. I don't know if it'll be the same. Who knows? There might be changes from from sale to sale, from platform to platform, because uh, these guys are hosting their own websites uh, when they do this. Make sure that you're opening the pack before you move on to the next. I know you want to get through it as fast as possible, but the problem last time was it was showing me that it was opening, and I moved on to the next before it fully opened, and then I realized you know, when the stream was already over that two of my main packs hadn't opened. So I, I definitely lost a ton of money there. Uh, probably lost some low mints. So make sure you guys are doing that. Uh, Kieran's in the chat saying, uh, what time is the actual, uh, opening? So it's 10 37 right now. So what we'll see is in about 23 minutes, uh, it'll be open for the public. Uh, it's going to be at 11 AM. That's what the team's telling us. Ben will come back in here in a second. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, um, you know, it, it, it comes, it drops at 11. I think everybody's kind of ready to start that pack opening experience. Once we do get that rolling guys, I, I highly encourage everybody in chat to start like trading amongst, you know, ourselves, start kind of talking about, you know, what you guys want to collect. I can't wait to see like what you guys are getting into. Um, there should be some, some really cool surprises too. Once we get a chance to like look through all the different cogs and, and what they have to offer. I'm, I'm really excited to uh, discover some more of those little micro sets. Yeah, definitely, man. I I mean, you definitely know more about like the dynamics of what's going on with these packs. I think you've been doing your best to educate me over the past 48 hours. Yeah. So it'll be interesting. I it, There's definitely going to be, a, I, I even think we were live on stream and during the Shatter show, you were like, yeah, there's going to be an aspect where you have to shard the cards together. And like, I must like, have been like messing with that. Discord or something like that. <laughs> And I had the streamers like, you got to put the packs together or the yeah. cards together. It was a funny Hurry, situation. Put it man. together, yeah. 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 So I think a lot of people ran into that. They got to they got into it and they were like, "What is this? I only have a piece of a card." So um, yeah, that was pretty funny. So 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 a bender. This is probably going to be a question that most people have if yeah. they haven't participated. But do you need to select anything when you open or just click it? There's probably going to be multiple clicks. So if we're getting down to the nuts and bolts here, you'll you'll refresh the page. The page will go live you'll likely see your inventory or you'll probably have to connect your cloud wallet. To be honest, it'll probably be two clicks to do that. And then you'll probably see my inventory. You click on the card back and then it opens. You move on to the next. That's what we've seen in the Shatner sale. That's what we've seen in the GPK. Yeah. And most of the sites, they're kind of broken down the same. So I'm pulling up right now um, the GPK um, dashboard. So when you're looking at this, it's going to look pretty much, I assume it'll look pretty much the same. I know that the Shatner one looked pretty similar. Um, Mm -hmm. So they're all going to have kind of the same information. You've got your inventory up here. When you go to your inventory, you can then look at your unopened packs or you can look at your actual cards themselves. So obviously you're going to want to look in your unopened packs to find the packs that you guys purchased. Um, And then they'll be down here. Um, Then you pull it up and and you can get to cracking. Perfect. Okay, guys. So if you, if you're new to wax, we've already seen some other sales. I would love to kind of look uh, 
uh karen saying there's there's a site is rip under right the right volume right. at the moment uh yeah definitely we're all yeah. waiting for it but uh if you're new to wax we've had multiple sales so uh there are people in the chat that have taken part in some of these other sales so i'm interested to hear from the people in the chat we got about 37 here now so we appreciate you guys showing uh showing up if if you're if you haven't been here uh please subscribe to the channel we bring you all the crypto news not just nfts but we do nft live every thursday and also yep. around events, of course. Uh, but if you're also a returning viewer, like the channel, that really helps. But uh, I want to know in the chat, what sale have you guys participated in on wax or maybe off wax that you guys have had success with? Maybe you haven't had success with. I'd love to hear from the community what you guys have been involved with as far as NFTs are concerned, because that's what yeah. that's something we're always trying to do. We're trying to source information from you guys. Most definitely. Most definitely. I like to know like what everybody thinks about wax in general, like at this point, oh. right? We've seen, oh, sorry, a, no, I was like, is it, did they, did they hit the button? <laughs> um, so we've was. seen, you know, uh, multiple drops now. It's been two months in. What What are you guys feeling? Um, yeah, the peddler asks, is, is Ronan reading this chat? That's not the chat that I'm supposed to be reading. I did happen to read it, but I should be in live break chat. If you guys are in Discord um, on the COG server, if you hop into the live break chat, uh, channel. That's where uh, I'm focusing my attention. Um, and if you guys mm -hmm. are on the Gamers Hub, we are chatting in stream text chat. Um, so I'm checking there as well. I don't see any questions or anything like that. If you guys have any, remember, we will be joined by Ben um, from the team here shortly. Um, Papa Bear says he's addicted to those live guys. Mike Scott says uh, he was into BCH and GPKTK. He says both mm -hmm. of those were rough at the start, but they ended up turning out okay. Um, yeah, man, I, I, I took part in uh tk did you i don't know if we talked about tiger king did you get any tiger king oh yeah i 10x on tiger king tiger king was amazing that was my yeah. first experience with uh because oh, really? i didn't get in i didn't get into series one so the series okay. one was the first release i think it was the first wax sale if i'm not if i'm mm -hmm. not mistaken well uh yeah was it well it was, it's the first like of their like this like collectible thing yeah. apparently they yeah. had like a, another offshoot prior to this but yeah okay yeah yeah so series one Tiger King, Shatner, Blockchain Heroes, Cog. So that's the timeline that we've run with. I definitely got in on Tiger King. That was amazing. I think for there's some sh sort of sheer luck. Uh, I was able to get a low mint and it really paid off. Uh, so we got uh, we got a definitely uh, some other questions here yep. uh, that we need to get to. Uh, we're giving away alpha, guys, because if you listen to our uh, recommendations and you understand what's going on, you could probably open your packs quicker. You could probably know what you're doing. So two questions that I want to get to here, Ronan. Yep. Are there options? So, so a vendor was asking about opening the packs and what do we yeah. need to do? And then she came or he came back and said, uh, but are there options? You talked about sets. What's the dynamic there with the sets? Cause I know the important part is to open And I want to tell a vendor, the important part is you open your packs, like the right. sets come afterwards and yeah, you can exactly. like look at your features, but opening the packs is the most important. And then we can get to everything. But as far as the right. sets go, what can you answer that? Yeah. Yep. I think what he's asking is whether, or what they're asking is whether or not, um, like when you open the pack, if you can choose what set you want to open it from, that's not, um, what I mean, I mean, so when you open the pack, you're going to get one of the random hundred different art that they have in one of the 3000 variants. Okay. Um, so once you do open it, you can then identify the, the sets by the art. Uh, so like the 80 sets, they all are done by the same artist, the 90 set all done by the same artist, cyberpunk, all the same artists. They all look mm. the same. They, they, um, they, they all go together. And then when you talk about the smaller, like micro sets, those are identified by um, the actual tokens themselves. So let me see if I can I'm trying to remember where they had that posted. I think Twitter actually, we'll go to the wax Twitter real quick. The cogs. <clears throat> see if they have any, they haven't posted anything to Twitter as far as everything going on. Got it. Um, but they actually have a, uh, let's pull this up actually too. Um, but they have an article that I'll show you guys in a sec. And it has the example that they gave us of those mini sets. Okay. The other question I guess we should get to after this would be Scott Harris saying, uh, but how do we get ultra rares? So. <laughs> okay. So ultra rares are going to be rolled in your special slots. So if you look at the starter sets, the starter sets have five special slots. Um, and then the boosters are going to have one special slots. That's where you're going to, you're going to 
cross your fingers and hope you you roll uh, an ultra rare or a foil or something like that. So so there's an action after you open the packs that I need to take to get these rares. No, no, no. Once you open the packs, it's exactly like cards. They'll start popping okay, out. Okay, okay. And then when you see them, it'll literally be one like this. So this is the um, the uh, egg, which is the first of that that okay. micro set, right? Um, and it'll pop out. You'll see it, and you'll be able to know instantly, okay, this is a gray color, right? So gray, I think, is common. Um, and that's how you identify the rarity, is by the color of the stars and the color of the numbers. Got it. Um, and then the border also helps denote the rarity, which I just pulled this up, which this is a really cool image. Um, it's actually been updated since this, but this actually shows you uh, the rarity colors on the left, mm. right? So grays are going to be common, uncommons are blues, rares are yellow, ultra rares are gold. And then inside of those, you have the blue borders, the light turqu uh, blue borders, mm. the turquoise, etc. right? And then these are all solid colors. And then when you get to ultra rares, the ultra rares are special because they're actually com color combos. And then Got they it. named those color combos. Um, Interesting. So yeah, so you'll probably see people popping in chats and, and on Discord and that kind of thing popping up saying, I'm looking to complete my Digital Dawn set. Like if you have Digital <laughs> Dawns, let me know. And you know, okay, my black maroon golds, that's what he's looking for. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, a lot of really good stuff, a lot of really great uh, resources by the community. You can find a lot of that in their Discord, in the Wax Discord, um, or just, you know, Twitter, that kind of thing. Yeah, we've got 15 minutes, guys, or about 14 minutes until the actual website is what we're being told is going to go live. So we'll see here if Ben can get in before that. Uh, so we have 40. We have not begun we, yet, Breathless. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. Uh, we, we'll we have four, 44, 45 people uh, in the chat. Uh, right now in the in awesome. viewing us live. I mean, that's that's go. pretty close. I think we hit like, I think at peak, like Shatner sale going down because yeah. every wax sale has to have something go down. Uh, <laughs> we had like 62, I think. that. Nice. So that's the max. If we can get over that, that would be amazing. Well, we're uh, over that. Like if you consider uh, the two Discord servers, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, dude, so, that, got, so that, got, that, that doesn't show. Holy shit. Welcome to everyone in the Discord server on uh, the COG side. You guys are nuts. There's something like 30 people over there. Um, and then on the Gamers Hub, we have also got a slew of folks. There's probably another 50 people on Gamers Hub. So th a special thank you guys that are hanging out with us. I know there's some other guys in the community doing some live streams. Um, we've got another probably 45 minutes. Um, and if anybody else is streaming, I will make sure that I drop some links to the other guys. The community um, for Wax as a whole is really awesome, um, but Cogs has has really created some some a little special community in their Discord. Yeah, if we if those numbers are correct uh, and they're not showing up on uh, not showing up on YouTube, uh, yep. I thought that those those views would show up on YouTube. We are over a hundred and and ish uh, people in the viewer chat, which is an all time high for NFT yeah. Live. So we appreciate you guys out there, man. We we definitely you salute so you much. guys. Uh, we've got some lads. So lads is a community that kind of powers Layer One. They're the community that kind of surrounds and powers Layer One. Uh, so we got some lads in the chat asking questions. If you want to join the lads, we're a community of crypto enthusiasts uh, across the industry. We've got some NFT guys in the chat now. I know Seth is one that I want to shout out. Ronan's a lad as himself. Uh, so we kind of span the entire sector uh, or multiple sectors of, of the crypto industry. The link is in the description, guys. Join the Telegram uh, and you can kind of follow along with what me and Ronan are doing on NFT Live, man. So so let's let's answer let's, some of these yeah, questions. I was going to say, because there's uh, definitely a bunch of questions I need to catch up on. Um, real quick, in Discord, I'll answer these quick since we did YouTube on the last one. Um, is minting going to make a difference in the gameplay value or just collector value? Daniel, it's only going to... Um, I think only going to have really an effect as far as collector value is concerned. However, if they have like something on the gameplay side that reflects the fact that you got a rarer one, we do not know that yet. Um, Choina says their experience with Wax so far uh, has been BCH, Wax Cloud Wallet failed, and she uh, they missed out um, on any packs in the presale. TK, they missed out on all the packs. Oh man, that sucks. I missed out on BCH because the first 15 minutes I couldn't buy with my wax cloud wallet either. So, uh, and I only had about 20 to dedicate. Uh, and Shatner was not so crazy. Yeah, Shatner was pretty chill for me as well. Um, any Splinterlands players here? Blackheart, I don't play Splinterlands. I'm actually not really too big into card games to, for a collector. Um, but uh, 
Carrie Allen says, hey, boo. Uh, Blackheart says, uh, nice to see another player. <laughs> uh, Kieran says he's the top lad, most definitely. We appreciate you guys in chat. I'm going to check out chat over on the other server as well. How's the uh, pack opening beginning? Breathless, it's hopefully in 10 minutes. Um, we are hoping that's when it comes up, and we're hoping maybe the guys from the WAX team will hop back in and join us um, when that is getting ready to take place. So I've caught up on the Discord stuff. Let me check over on YouTube. Um, what's a good amount of packs to buy? Uh, Brandon, that's whatever you feel comfortable with, brother. Like uh, I think that you should at least get a couple of starter packs. That way you have a, a single slammer at minimum. That way you can play the game once the, the game rolls out, which is going to be primarily mobile. Um, and then uh, what's a good amount of uh, wax to buy, however many you want to open. Um, I'm definitely going to hold at least one of each pack because I think the pack art is so cool. Um, I, I want that in my collection. Um, so I'm definitely going to be holding a couple of those. Um, Block Test says they went for 20 starters and some people have already bought more than 100 starter packs themselves. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, guys, if you've been following us since the beginning, it looks like we came out of the gate uh, pretty hot here. And these packs are continuously being sold. So they did cross 100K in sales uh, a couple, couple, couple minutes ago. Uh, guys, we've seen some other sales kind of have their supply capped. And those sales have been around 100, 150K. So this kind of is in that same realm here. Uh, definitely uh, passing that 100K mark uh, is a big moment. So no exact time announced, uh, but around 10 minutes. Hopefully we can get Ben in here before it goes live, but I wouldn't blame him. Uh, if he didn't show up based on what's I'm going sure, on. So. Dude, I'm sure that like that office has got to be like just going like all over the place right now. You know what I mean? Like, yep. I, you know, to, to they probably, <laughs> yeah, it's probably on fire. Yeah. The interesting thing about this too, guys, uh, and if you're an NFT enthusiast, this is kind of one of the value propositions that you talk about when you try to explain NFTs to people. But the COGS team is not only going to make money from this sale, they're going to make money from every subsequent sale on the secondary market. They're going to have a fee that's associated, I'm assuming like 2%, which is not very big if you th think about it when it comes to you know making a sale. If you if you 2X uh, on a card, you're not going to complain about you know a dollar's worth of sale. But on the long tail, that's making the team a lot more money. And it's one of the reasons brands are moving in this space, man. They, they don't, the, the NBA doesn't want to just make the sale on LeBron James's jersey at the point of sale. They want every time that, that jersey's switching hands, they want to make some money. So uh, definitely huge. an interesting aspect. I really do think that that is, it's one of the things that was brought up when I was um, actually hanging, hanging out with the, um, the R Fox team before we went uh, on one of our lives and arc Lager, which is the lead game designer. We had a conversation about that and we were talking about the fact that um, you, the um, <laughs> sorry, I had to no, pop good. up in the corner. I totally lost my train of thought. Um, anyways. Yeah. So, you know, the game part of it is where I was trying to get to, but I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, the we talked about the gamification model. Like that's going to be as a gamer myself, like that's what I want to start seeing in blockchain games. Mm -hmm. I know one what we talked about it last week and I was kind of coming to you and we were just kind of like ideating or brainstorming and I was kind of like telling you about collectibles and a couple things like that and you were like, "Man, I love what's going on with the collectible scene, but I want to see some interoperability with the actual games." Uh like just some action other than owning a card a card's cool like these yeah. cards are cool they're starting to get more graphics we see that with nba top shop and what they're doing but being able to actually use this nft is way more interesting i think than possibly you know another aspect so most definitely most definitely and i think that like that that, that long-term um investment i guess if you want to call it that i think that's where mm -hmm. like it really truly the value lies um is that these things aren't just like just collectibles they're 100 percent confirmed to have like you know a, a usage and not only in the game that they're designed for but they are also designed to be uh, interoperable across the entire uh, r fox ecosystem because mm -hmm. they're going to have more games that are like this that are completely built on the blockchain um and then they're also working out some deals with other um partnerships as well. So we'll see this stuff part and you're starting to see it. I, you know, there's, I think I saw something, um, BCH hero may end up being in the Chibi's 
the, I don't know if you've seen that, the, the that's coming to wax. It's like these little, I don't remember what they call them, wax chibis, right? The little yeah. like, cute characters, uh, but it's a yeah. game, right? And so I think they confirmed the other day that they're going to be bringing one of their, their heroes to the game. And as long as you have that card, you'll unlock that hero. Um, so it's happening, you know what I mean? And it's definitely like, it's slowly getting there. Um, but we're definitely starting to see some more, some more value in that. Uh, Choina agrees that the, uh, the part, the pack art looks really cool. <laughs> Yeah, the artists did a really great job on these cogs. Uh, so many things are happening in the NFT industry, man. And I can't wait for the metaverses to kind of unlock a little bit. I know mm-hmm. we've seen Decentraland. We've seen Crypto Voxels. Uh, but I just cannot wait for Sandbox. I can't wait for Blancos is a big one that I'm looking at. Um, there's so much, so many things happening in the NFT industry. Uh, we were listening to, I think, the BGA put on uh, a what like a a panel basically the bga does these panels all the time which ronan's going to be a part of here in a second i think uh (laughs) you've got like yeah this thursday this thursday Uh, yeah that that, that's going to be awesome you're on there with sebastian you're on there with jiho that's going to be a great one um but they were doing a panel and one of the guys from decentraland was saying that the nft industry just so feels so uncapped Mm -hmm. it's it feels like it's just got it's there is no ceiling on what's going on here and it's such a small industry right now that God knows where we're at in a couple, you know, years. Dude, I, I really do agree with that 100%. It's sky's the limit. Um, I don't think that there is any reason not to want to be all in on on NFTs, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that it's the future. I think that they're going to be tied to everything from collectibles and games and and that kind of thing all the way to you know your the contract to your home will eventually be an nft you know what i mean yeah. you're going to sign everything digitally with your wallet that's on your phone all the paperwork is going to be did yeah i mean that's the world we live in i mean you're mm-hmm. there's already some businesses that are completely run on on um tablets not even computers they yep. use tablets for everything so i mean that's where we're going um paperless so it just makes sense Right, like digital ownership just makes sense at this point, and NFT is 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 that's where it's happening. Hundred percent, man. I cannot wait for the rest of this industry to kind of evolve and mature. Okay, guys. So this is what we're doing. Uh, we've got, I believe, four minutes. We have an error code. Hopefully. If you can't, I don't know if you can see it from your end, Ronan, but uh, I'm logged in and I'm dropping wax.cogs.gg because PJ keeps asking where he can go to open his packs. I don't know if you can see that, guys, if it's coming through on your end. Uh, but if if not, someone can drop the link to wax.cogs. Okay, it is. Yep, so yep. that's that's the link, uh, PJ. So we're all kind of waiting uh, for this site to go live. Uh, it was cr- it crashed essentially, so we're all waiting here in in ants angst uh, here that, to open the packs. Let's let's get something set up. We got a, We got a second shot at this Ronan. So let's let's get like a with a minute to go. Can we get like Yo, a launch yeah. sequence or something? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I feel bad. Like yeah. what, what happens if it doesn't launch at eleven? We haven't heard back from Benny yet. True. I don't know what's it, dude. I don't know what is it. I'm gonna feel so bad. I we, we're, well, we're live for only about 35, 33 more minutes. Yeah, so we've got, let's see, the last update came from the Telegram group. So I'll go in the okay, Telegram yeah. group see what the deal is. If we have anything else. Uh, Choina, if you give me one second, I might be able to do that. Uh, they're asking, I guess some people have their mics open in the Discord. So give me one second. I'm going to make sure everybody's muted. Okay. They hosting on Namecheap, sir, please. <laughs> hey, man, this is going to be a great sell. I cannot wait for this. Long hair saying four minute countdown. Also, I want, I was wrong. Definitely don't have Mint 2 starter pack fail. Yeah, that would have been a, an amazing accomplishment. Uh, I think most people, I don't know. There's no cap on actual start. There's no cap on packs. You know, we've seen that from other sales that have had that um, uh, like full sale supply cap uh, where they've kind of, um, said this is how many accounts are actually, uh, or this is how many packs a certain account can buy. We don't see any of that here. So we will, uh, 100% see it's just a, it's just a different dynamic guys. So 41 people in the chat, we're kind of waiting here as this, uh, website's about to go live. It looks like it might go live in one minute. We're at 1059 here. So if not, we'll be in the telegram chat. Otherwise, good luck to everybody. We got the countdown here. Huge countdown as I get 20,000 messages to my phone. Great to see everybody in the chat. Good luck. (coughs) 
All right, here we go. 10.59. Refresh. Refresh. Ronan's got the countdown. Ronan's got the counter. Lift off. Not up yet. Not up yet, guys. I've still got 10.59 on my clock. This is this You're is my early. favorite part, man. It's I like the know, the one minute man. before the drop is just Everybody like so. Everybody starts getting antsy. Yep. <sighs> Nothing. I see yet. Telegram is starting to pop off as well. <laughs> I I'm appreciate not... you guys giving me a heads up in chat about the, uh, the the muting the mics. So we've got some Telegram people who are commenting here, and this isn't confirmed by any any chance. Uh, but Raghav in the in the uh, Telegram chat is saying another thirty minute delay. I wouldn't put he doesn't have an admin no. tag. I really hope that there's no thirty minute delay here. So you we'll see. Guys, I won't even be able to open packs. Are you kidding me? Oh no. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Kieran's saying that Namecheap is not the hosting provider to go with just to uh kind of kind of for the next sale guys let's get off name cheap and let's let's go on to a a uh, quality host service here so uh nothing yet everybody so 11 a.m you're not alone if you're refreshing here uh and not getting anything sales are still going strong though man people are still buying in which is awesome to see even without the the ability to to check out your um your your cogs <laughs> 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 there's some, guys this is this is an interesting situation and I, I will leave it at that this is oh, no. this is an interesting situation there's some funny people in the chat Dang that are nice. uh laying down the comments but i'm uh listen this happens it wouldn't be a wax sale without this shit happening so up I'll, 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 leave, I'll leave it at that yeah <laughs> yeah they got they this. got they got the cogs money <laughs> i will say this and, and this is a hundred percent like a personal thing, you know what I mean? But, um, I've talked to the, the, the guys over there at Cogs and I know that, um, this project is huge and near and dear to those guys' hearts. They're very genuine people. Um, it's, it's one of those things where I, my heart is currently breaking for those guys. Cause I know how important this experience is and they wanted this to be. Um, so you guys hang in there tight and they're, they're I know they're, they're doing everything they possibly can on their end. Um, you know, and, and it's rough and we can all joke and stuff, and, and, but you know, I kind of feel bad for the guys. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. I mean, this this comes with the territory. You know, you're yep. you're you're having a good sale here. You're selling over hundred k, but there's always going to be you know something that you didn't plan for. So exactly. uh, definitely, uh, we're waiting as we refresh here, guys. Uh, obviously, they're not jumping on their private jet and taking all the the wax. Uh, that that is obviously a meme. Uh, but we are waiting here for the team to kind of update uh us and and let us know when these actually are going to come live uh the telegram's getting a little a little uh crazy Popping as it nice usually in. does <laughs> the, the, the one the one thing i will say when we go with the wax p here uh because mm -hmm. we're not using the credit card thank god that there isn't also another credit card issue then like situation to. that's going on it's literally every time if you yeah. do a credit card sale on wax it's... you are going to get flamed by the community you have to know that up front yeah so yeah. Thank God they now, didn't like, do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Choina and Chad is saying that if you if you do happen to get through to wax.cogs.gg, you're still unfortunately seeing the um, pre-registration page. So that's probably not, I, That's what not I saw for a second. For, yeah, that's probably not looking good for us. I imagine everybody's probably trying to hop back in there and slam the servers. Mm -hmm. um, but you know. Yeah. I don't know if you've been involved in in the any DeFi tokens or buying tokens on Uniswap. I'm assuming not, uh, mm -hmm. but it was it's it, it's definitely a evolution from what we saw in 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, which, if you think about like all the hype that's around DeFi, it was all ICOs back then. And the way that worked is is almost the same way it's working now, uh, where you would like send in uh, ETH instead of Wax, and you would get something in return. Not an NFT, of course. You would get like another token. Uh, and it's funny because that was the same situation happening on ETH during ICOs. Literally every sale, someone's going to complain about sending to the wrong address. Uh, the gas fees like didn't allow them to get in because, of course, the token would sell out. So, so many different things happening uh, on ICOs. It just it just comes with the territory whenever you're doing some of these sales. So, yeah, uh, let's yeah, see, let's sure. see. Ben left a voice message. Let me see if I can't. Uh, you oh, won't hear no. from your end. So, let's see. Let's see. Hold on. <laughs> so does it ping you like when he Hold tries on. to join? Hold on. Yep. Quick update. If if you want to go to the Telegram, you can uh, 
you you can actually pull this up. Oh, it's in Telegram for okay, the cool. yeah. So it's in it's in Wax Cogs Telegram. Uh, it looks like yeah, it's the last message Ben sent. It's a fifty six second uh, message uh, that you can get in there. Zentro, right, I feel the same way. It's okay. Yeah, go ahead. Let's see if it's gonna play through. Hi guys, quick update. Can you um, hear that? The I, I won't hear it. Uh, frustrated. We're frustrated as well. Apologize. Uh, that's all I can do. Apologize profusely. People are assuming that it's because of the servers or server issues. It's not the case. We haven't pointed the servers at the sales site because of the fact that um, the, we're still trying to sort out something with the unboxing. So we're making sure that we don't um, uh, point you there until the last thing has been resolved. I thank you for your patience. Apologize profusely. It's not to do with the website. Thank you. Uh, very shortly come back. At least everybody's getting in. And as we said, with the 3,440, combinations the mint numbers will still be low thank you for your patience. these things have happened in all of the sales there's some sort of an issue it's no excuse and we do apologize um it's all heating problems and we're working early so uh thank you very much for your support got it got it yep so basically he he um was just going over the fact that yeah like they you know that they're it's actually not the servers is what he says it, it's he's saying that the problem is that the actual pack opening mechanic itself mm. um which definitely you don't want that to mess up right because you have people thinking they're opening packs and they're not or or they're disappearing mm -hmm. or something you know who knows if they've got some crazy you know, launch day bug or something. <laughs> Karen's know? saying, <laughs> Karen's saying the sales site isn't hosted on Namecheap. Okay. I can stop roasting them. Uh, yeah, definitely. So we had some comments come through. D Dimitri's in the chat. Dimitri is another co-host uh, and, and kind of, yeah, another co-host on, on layer one. We appreciate you stopping by Dima. Thank you guys so uh, much. Thanks for, thanks for, uh, thanks for coming in and sharing that somebody actually paid 1.7 K USD in gas to get into a presale, uh, fun times, uh, ICOs back in 2017. So wow. definitely, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it became a whales game and DeFi is definitely, that's one thing I appreciate about NFTs. Although you do see whales, uh, and I'm not pointing this toward whale shark or anything. Mm -hmm. Uh, although you do see whales in the industry, it still has the availability to, at least on wax, uh, you have the availability to kind of be more democratized uh, in your distribution. Everyone gets to participate or DeFi is kind of pushing out a lot of small users at this point. So yeah, uh, you so definitely yeah. see that as like a, a primarily like NFT collector, right? Like you see that, um, you know, the, the, the gas prices and you're just like, it doesn't make sense for me to try to trade my cards or you know my my uh land that cost me 30 bucks when it's going to cost me 20 to to just to send it <laughs> yeah yeah definitely i mean it when you have the we talked about this on nt live last week right. when you're yep. dealing with low value high volume transactions it makes no sense to be on eth so <clears throat> we'll see what happens here uh you know if ben wants to talk to the community he needs to hop in nft live come on <laughs> uh we had I'm ben sure, on yeah yeah, yeah, we had been on early in the episode when they were initially having uh, that issue. So hopefully we get an update here soon, guys. We're here along with you. Uh, it will be interesting to see because I'm assuming that you have to hop off here and in, 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 I don't know what your time frame is, but yep, it will be yep. interesting to see. I'm going to push it as long as I can. <laughs> okay. I've got a, uh, I've got a, a meeting at 12. So uh, okay. I intend, originally intended to hop off a little early so I could have time, but it's not something I have to prepare for too much. So, but, hey, take, take one for the team here, Ronan. We exactly, need to open these exactly. packs. Now, if it comes like 1130 and we still haven't like seen anything, then, you know, I may like push it like 10 minutes and then call it. But um, mm. yeah, so. But mm, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. I know. It. Look, this is the type of demand that you see with this kind of wax stuff, right? Like, I don't know. Um, I've had this up for a couple seconds, so you can probably see it. I mean, people are, people are, somebody just paid $70. Yeah. Guys, if you, uh, guys, if you're so, buying packs guys, for the love can, of God, just buy it through the sale. Atomic this Hub is, still has them on. Guys. Are you, guys. Please don't. Uh, we keep saying that. <laughs> guys, guys, do not go on the marketplace and, and like literally stamp pleb on your forehead. Just buy it from the actual sale. It's live for the next two hours. Mm -hmm. Please stop buying it from other people. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, so Dimitri, I, well, this is what I want from you. Uh, if you could, can you hop into the admin dashboard and we're going to do a lads giveaway here? Uh, we'll, I'll, I've got it in my brain what I want to uh, do here, but I'll, I'll message you and then you could kind of come in from the lads dashboard if you can uh let me know i don't, I know you're trading these DeFi shit coins if you have some time 
please, I will message you and we can get this lads giveaway for all the lads in the chat. We appreciate it. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. I, you know, I think that like, um, something that we could though do is, uh, we could do a giveaway. I've got like booster packs, right? So like I can go ahead and I'll, I'll toss a booster pack towards the community. Um, now the question is, is how do we put together a, a giveaway across three chats? <laughs> true, true, um, true, true. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, give me a couple minutes. We'll, we'll continue to discuss and I'm going to check a couple of options that I, I can look at. Okay. Sounds good. Guys, we're getting the, we're in the kitchen kind of working on these giveaways. So one of these giveaways will be specifically for the lads. Uh, and then another, and I, and I, what I'll do right now is actually buy a booster pack. Uh, so I can give away to the lads community. The other will be given away to the broader community. If you want to join lads and you are interested in kind of joining one of the freshest communities in crypto right now uh the link is in the description i believe uh and you can get into our waiting room yeah the telegram link uh http yeah yeah t.me slash join layer one is going to be that link it's in the description you guys can get in there become one of the lads we are dropping some liquidity on uniswap this week that'll be interesting man so uh, definitely definitely some giveaways going on here where we got it concocted so uh, i'm going to talk to dima real quick and uh get this together so. Uh, Dimitri said, who did not smash the like button? So if you're in YouTube chat, we would appreciate you smashing the like button. If you enjoy the content that we've had for you guys this morning, we really would also appreciate you to hit the subscribe button as well. Um, and one of the things we might as well go ahead and throw out is we are live every week on Thursdays. Um, the time is a little variable, but usually it's um, early afternoon uh, if there's some drop you know, if pack drops that day, we will jump in uh, specifically for those if we can. Um, but usually Thursday afternoons, we're live. We usually go a decent amount of time, an hour, hour and a half, uh, and we chat about all news NFT for that week. We discuss not only stuff going on with WAX, um, but we also discuss, you know, uh, the stuff going on in, with NFT world in ETH, which is uh, of a, essentially mostly crypto art um, and some more like high value, like collectibles type stuff, which is very, very cool stuff. If you're not in there, you know, if you're from the WAX community and you're here because you, you're in that WAX and you don't even understand like that there's another world of collectibles in ETH, uh, we need to chat. Hit me up in DMs and I'll introduce you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, man. We cannot wait for this industry to grow out. WAX yeah. is a good one. We were looking at Ultra last night. Uh, yeah, there's Ultra a looks ton. very cool. Yeah, They've Ultra's got, got a ton names. of good, yeah, big, big names, big backers, big partners. Uh, so that'll be interesting. Uh, we've got a ton of stuff, guys. There's 47 in YouTube. Ronan That's was saying there's guys. about 30 in Discord. Uh, yeah, and then there's another like 15 or 20 in the COGS Discord. So overall, we've got like 125 people. Guys, if you are listening like from a Discord, it definitely helps our channel, this NFT Live, and it helps us put out good content if you can actually come into the YouTube. Like I know you guys are watching from your little hubs, uh, but it definitely helps like our YouTube if you guys hop in and kind of uh, show that, you know, the episode's doing well and YouTube sees that. So uh, so appreciate you guys showing up. I see a lot of people getting into the lads waiting room uh, to get access to the community. So appreciate everybody that's uh, hopping in there. Uh, awesome. so yeah, yeah, we've got a ton coming, going on right now. We hit, we hit, we just hit 50 viewers in the YouTube. So that's what's up guys. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, if you're here because you don't know what's going on and you're trying to look for news, um, we are in the same spot. We did get an update roughly about 10 minutes ago from Benny, who is the CEO of our Fox. They're the ones running the show. Right. Um, and he said that they do understand the frustration. However, there is an issue with the pack opening, um, mechanic and they want to make sure that that is right because it's important that that, uh, experience feels good to the users. Right. Um, so they're working on it. We do know that, um, uh, and, and hopefully sooner rather than later, we'll be able to crack some packs. We can get you guys trading in chat. We can get chat, uh, trades going in, uh, discord. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to cross post some links real quick between the discord to YouTube, YouTube awesome. to discord. That way, you know, if you guys are looking for a nice community, these guys are awesome. And we've got a chat specifically for trading. Um, so when you start pulling your packs and open your packs and you figure out what you guys want to trade and, and what you want to get rid of and what you want to collect, definitely drop in, jump in there as well. Okay. Awesome. So we got China joining. We got fatty foo guys. Everyone's joining the, uh, lads, uh, waiting room here. Uh, if you guys are joining, Dimitri will get you an invite to the, to the lads community. We appreciate right. it. Um, so yeah, I got, I got some questions here. Uh, as Scott's saying, and he's, he's commenting directly in the mm -hmm. lads community. He's commenting saying, I've never participated in an NFT sale before. You think these packs will increase a good amount over the coming weeks? Uh, 
so so there's an interesting portion right like if we have traders we have gamers here we talked about this earlier uh the the fact that the supply is uncapped uh may be a situation that traders needed to to look at right if you're a gamer and you're a trader if you can get a, a low mint you're always going to be able to you know figure out a, a good way and and there's features like like uh sh- like the foils and 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 rares that definitely traders can can be interested in uh but the supply is uncapped so keep that in mind so definitely want pe- as much people uh to kind of participate here as possible oh it looks like we got bennett do we, we get ben? <laughs> let's let's see what ben's got to say what's going on ben hello there uh okay so the updates um the site, uh, people have said we were, uh, must have used a cheap site or <laughs> um, I, I don't know why you'd do that. Uh, anyways, we didn't point um, point to the actual site because the packs, uh, we had a problem with the packs. We were trying to make sure that we could actually open them properly. Uh, it was uh, basically if you click the auto open function, you would have had to manually then re-click it to get it to open. So we would have had a lot of people sitting there just clicking hey, my pack's not opening and I've got done out of a good mint and all the rest of it. So, mm-hmm. yeah, so uh, some of the best jokes I've heard so far since I looped back around from you was that we uh, we didn't invest in a good enough can opener. <laughs> um, that we, uh, yeah, that we've, I mean, the, the thing is that, uh, I mean, you've got to take your yeah, hats off to people. I mean, this has been, um, people, the demand is there and people want to get their, their hands on we want to see what they look like. For Christ's sakes, we wait 18 months for this. We want to open mm-hmm. these back. Yeah. Like, so um, it's not like we're holding back on purpose. Uh, the, I think the best joke I saw was a girl um, said in the group, she said, ah, I get it. This is the game. <laughs> That's awesome, Ben. Yeah, you guys, are, honestly, you guys just, I think, crossed 118. That it's, it's, it's somewhere in that vicinity. So 115K that's been sold. I know you, I know that number is dynamic and it keeps uh, going on as the sale goes on. So definitely congratulations there. The community is used to, uh, you know, having some of these issues in wax because of that demand. So I don't think anybody over here is, is definitely thinking that uh, anything is, is going on poorly. So we appreciate uh, all the updates that you've been giving in the telegram you hopping in here that's been awesome yeah no problems no problems at all if there's anything that um anyone wants to ask while i'm here if you want to i'm happy to answer it but uh ultimately yeah the the, it comes down to the it's not 18 months of preparation and then you go and say um i'll point to a two dollar site it's a matter of saying uh you don't point to something unless it actually works and opens i mean what's a what's a better experience i mean I'll, i'll wear this on the chin if everyone says it's a better experience that i scratch and claw at a, at a bag and try and get it open and uh, um, then I can go bananas because I, I didn't get a fair chance. I'd rather everybody have a, uh, a better experience as far as getting it open is concerned. So at least everybody's in. Um, look, first first time I could buy them. Second time, everyone's uh, wallet crashed. Third time, uh, what happened? Third time was, uh, yeah, the wallet crashed. Wallet, yeah. This time, I can't open them. Yeah. Next so, time, so- next time uh, I think what will happen People will be able to buy in very smoothly. While it'll work really well, you'll get your packs, you'll open them, and there'll be nothing in them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just that the was, natural progression. Yeah, I, we were saying on the uh, the episode that thank God you didn't have any credit card uh, payments here, and it was all Waxby because that would be another thing on top of that. There's always some type of credit card malfunction that people are hitting you with. So, uh, so a couple questions here that I have directly. Uh, well, one directly from the community, and I'm sure everyone has it mm-hmm. on their mind. Is there a specific time that we can expect uh, this to go live, where we can refresh uh, that we've, site? Yeah, we've what we said was we wanted to give people a, a timed warning, and um, you know, to give people a chance to get in. Well, a lot of messages going on. I hope it's uh, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Opening while I'm here. This is the peril of going on live, is it? <laughs> I'm refreshing. I'm not seeing anything on my end. Not yet. We're hoping. Oh, these people are joking then, are they? Oh, <laughs> this is not a good time to joke, guys. Oh, right. <laughs> this is, this is, is it, is well, it actually I'm opening? I'm thinking to myself, I just got an update for you and I was about, I was rolling it out and then I saw that and I thought, oh, hang on a second. That's not a good time to joke at all, is it? <laughs> I guess, I guess we deserve it. But, oh, uh, I see what they, I see what they did. They took the, uh, they took the name cheap icon and they put it on a cock. Oh God. Right. 
<laughs> the memes. Oh, well, I mean... It's a loving community. They're spending the time here, right? Like, they're still here. They're still engaged. They're still, like, excited about it, which is, is very, very cool. At least they chose a nice border for it. <laughs> <laughs> Where did they yeah. drop that? Was that in Telegram? So, 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 Ben, I got another question here. We've got about, I, I believe, based on all the numbers that we're seeing, we've got about 120 people. So we're kind of like all anxiously awaiting this. But I did have one question. Uh, you kind of yep. came in here and we're, we're, we're talking about the uncapped supply and you kind of yep. were talking about uh, the dynamics of a sale and kind of the psychology around it. Based on the other sales, uh, I would love to see like we, like your review of those uh, sales like very quickly. Like wh- what yeah, have sure. you seen from those other sales that you guys kind of implemented or decided not to implement based on those sales? Well, I can tell you a couple of things because we're, we're very much data-driven guys and we look at um, at how that works. And, and as I said, you, you, you don't open Disneyland for nine minutes. And the thing is that if you look at... If you look at what happened in the first sale, there was 100 grand, it was 28 hours, right? The demand was there. Second market, secondary market was really good because a lot of collectors came in, which is why it was slower because flippers were probably still thinking to themselves, what is this caper? Um, and then, because I know a lot of people who flip and they came back and said, geez, if I had have known it was going to be that lucrative, I would have bought a, I would have bought a heap more packs and I would have made some money. So in the second one, Everybody thought, wow, I've got to get in early because I can make a lot of money here. So what they did was they sold it out really, really quickly. But there was a whole lot of people still waiting in line trying to buy that couldn't buy. So what it caused was a little bit of a frenzy where people were trying to work out how to make money on the secondary market. And then the demand just wasn't there because it wasn't a real, I think it wasn't a real GPK set. I mean, it was a it was an improvised set, so it's not doesn't have the same collector's appeal. Um, and then BCH, obviously, they sold out. They did a great job of marketing. They built up their community. They sold out. We turned around and said, people need to be able to get in. And we need pieces for people to be able to play a game with. And we're at the very beginning of adoption. Once these games take off and the blockchain gaming space takes off, these numbers are going to be minuscule. If we have a set with 200,000 or 300,000 cogs in it, it is nothing compared to a 2.6 million first set of MTG or something. And I'm not saying that we're MTG. What I'm saying is 200,000 cogs is nothing in the grand scheme of things. Mm-hmm. Um, especially if you need 20 to play a game or something, you, you, you it's not a lot of people that can actually play, play a game if that was the infinite supply or the, or the final supply. So mm-hmm. our strategy was let everybody get in, um, make it dynamic and make sure that the mint numbers are not as big a factor, which is very, very handy for what we're just going through now make sure that enough people have pieces to be able to play and make sure the collection has enough variance to make it interesting and make it a real collectible set like people are used to in the collection world. So we're trying to meld crypto people with the traditional collectors and we're trying to find that blend somewhere in the middle. Yep, yep. I definitely think that that um, is a, good, a really good way of approaching it. Obviously, I think that um, when it comes to getting more and more people involved, obviously, which is important for any business to grow, um, you know, involving as many communities as you can is important. Um, mm-hmm. And then obviously, you know, building those communities, which I think that Ben and his team are doing a great job of. Um, obviously, I mean, I I have not... I. I I've not seen many CEOs jump in when the servers are are on fire and be like, Hey, let me take it on the chin. Let you guys know what's going on. If you've got questions, you know, I'm willing to answer. So we do appreciate that. And I'm sure the community does, um, on telegram, I saw a comment that said it's all nothing but love. Um, so I think that, uh, is the entire community sentiment. Yeah. The the last thing I'll say before I sort of jump off, because I think we're getting a countdown now. So, uh, um, the last thing I'll say before I jump off is that, uh, Look, we've we've been um, we've put a lot of love into this project, and we've been doing it for a long time. It wasn't something that we just whipped up and thought, "Hey, there's a whole heap of uh, collectible stuff going." I mean, you can't put an art collection like that together quickly. And Art Legger was saying today, you know, that it take a team of sixteen people in a gaming studio to put together a collection a quarter of the size. So we've uh, we've been working a long time for this. We we love our um, what we've got. We know that this is a very small pickup in the. Um, grand scheme of things and it doesn't matter what mint you've got or what combination you've got if our games are successful and we have the success that we want to have going forwards these mint numbers are going to be uh, I mean being in the first edition I mean is going to be um, that's going to be where the value is so we're Mm -hmm. very confident we can we can uh, 
get some quality products uh, and we can, um, we can, we can have a really, really successful uh, next few years. Yeah, definitely, Ben. Thank you again for coming on. I did have one more comment. I think you guys should run a one for one auction, a one of one auction for that meme uh, cog there that was <laughs> dropped in the uh, group. I think that would be a really big hit. I think people, I can't honestly take that idea as, as being original because I saw it dropped. Uh, people are talking about creating it as an NFT. So if you guys ran some type of auction for that one meme cog, that would be hilarious. So, but I, I do appreciate you coming on. We, um, I've worked in a lot of big companies and I've done turnarounds my whole life. So my whole life has been spent in massive, massive companies that are on fire. Um, so this is, uh, I, I think the only thing you can possibly do is get in there and understand what people are going through. And that's the whole idea of customer experience. So I think that what they're saying is actually quite funny and quite cool. And mm. I, think that, um, I think that having a server, even though it's got nothing to do with what's actually happening, <laughs> I think having a server, COG, and having a can opener cog and having a cog for something else, I'd be very happy to, to create a one of one for, th- for three cogs and do uh, and and we can donate the money to whatever charity uh, people want to do. I think it's um that's awesome. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that's that's uh, it's perfectly fine. I mean, if you take yourself too seriously, then uh, you're not going to really get very far, are you? So, no. in fact, <laughs> we, uh, we apologise. We do see the light side of it, um, but you've got your cogs. They're in they're in the packs and. Um, Let's just work on getting them open. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Looking forward to that. Hopefully, um, you know, guys, if I'm able to, maybe after uh, the sale is done, we can hop back on and do maybe a review of of the morning, and maybe we can get some trades and stuff going on this afternoon. I am gonna have to go, unfortunately, about 10 or 15 minutes. But Ben, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for hopping on when you have the time um, and for giving us the updates. The community really does appreciate that, and we appreciate you guys. No worries. Thanks very much, guys. Speak right, to you shortly. Sounds good. See ya. So there you guys go. Amazing. That's like, uh, yeah, uh, Sir uh, JG says, Ben equals legend. I've, I've never seen a CEO of a company um, be so involved in the community. It's very, mm-hmm. very cool. And he's been really open. He's willing to like talk to you guys and, and talk to anybody. If you send Ben an email, you it's, it'll blow your mind. He will respond. And a lot of times you don't realize he's in Vietnam. So like, it's like, you know, right now <laughs> it's like one o'clock in the morning. You know, and he's been going since I think like four o'clock in the morning Mm -hmm. yesterday, you know, so um, yeah, those guys are dedicated. Those guys are dedicated and uh, we do appreciate them for sure. Yeah, hundred percent, man. I think uh, we didn't. I, I don't think we got a, a hard ETA, so we're still kind of waiting here for yeah. the actual uh, time uh, for the drop. I know some people in the in the Telegram chat are asking. Some people in uh, our chat here are asking. So we appreciate you guys following along. Uh, but yeah, do appreciate Ben hopping in. There's not many uh, guys I would hop in and, and kind of take one uh, on the chin there uh, and come in and, and just to the community and, and talk openly. So we definitely appreciate him. Guys, we're still here uh, refreshing the page here, waiting for the COGS site to go live so that everybody can open their packs. Uh, there there have been multiple questions uh, in the lads in uh, in our chat here about what the actual uh, situation is going to be around value and trying to figure out, hey, what do I need to do? Do I need to buy more packs? This isn't investment advice uh, at all. Uh, so you got to make your own decisions here. We've We've talked ad nauseum about kind of the situation with COG. So if you guys have any specific questions, definitely drop them in the YouTube chat uh, and, and we'll see if we can answer them. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're excited for this. We're waiting for it. I don't yeah. know the situation. We might have to hop off. I uh, hope here that like, about- at least we get like that first pack. I, w- I would love for the first pack to open to be live. Um, if not, I will save my packs until maybe uh, after my lunch meeting. Um, and then maybe yeah. I can hop back on. I don't know if we'll do it here or if maybe we'll, we'll keep that to just the discord. Um, However, yeah. you know, the day plays out. We'll figure it out. You guys make sure, okay, we'll take this opportunity once more just to, you know, we are on Twitter. We're very active. We're very involved in the community. Um, we try to stay at the forefront of anything that has to do with NFTs, whether that's the technology or the drops or the IPs or anything like that. So we do our weekly show every Thursday afternoons. Mm-hmm. Um, a like, a subscription right now, comments um, would be very much appreciated. If you're watching in Discord, We you can find this on the layer one um channel on youtube and that's kind of that if you want to follow us uh i don't remember your (laughs) your name on twitter directly mine is at ronin d-a-c-c um and yours is yeah crypto q underscore one so all you have to do really is type in crypto q and it's that easy guys so 
Yeah. Like, like we said, uh, we do this every Thursday. It's kind of dynamic. We like to yeah. do this around sales. Cause these are, this is just fun to fun. do. Uh, and it's definitely cool to connect with you guys during sales. Uh, and then we will do this every Thursday. I think it's been dynamic, but 1 PM has been kind of the, the average where we've done that. So yeah, definitely want to get you guys that update. There's a ton of people that are joining lads right now. Uh, now tons the end of the- questions. Yeah. Tons of questions about where. So if you guys go down to the social part of the description, there is a telegram link there, t.me slash join layer one. You get in there and Dimitri, one of uh, the admins there and co-host on layer one uh, and, and one of the uh, you know main guys of, of layer one will uh, help you out in getting you into the channel. So we're still going to do a lads giveaway for those that are that are in the lads. I think we should, I don't know if you still want to do your pack giveaway yes. before you leave. And we, uh, we got totally I sidetracked. I do want to give away a pack. I don't know. Um, man, I wish I had like uh, thought about this ahead of time. Um, what do you, how, how do we want to do this? Yeah. I mean, we got, we, doing this. all right. Yeah, so we got time. Do. So let's figure out, uh, we'll open it up for five minutes from now until 1135. Um, I don't know, type, type something in chat. Like how was the easiest way? Like I can get people to type in chat. We'll do a, um, a wheel of names. This may take a bit for me to copy and paste, but we've got a minute. Copy and paste 50 people. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Golly. I don't know how else to run the, the, the thing with this many people. Honestly, thank you guys for showing up in huge numbers today. Thank you. I, I can't say it enough. I know um, I'm super uh, excited about the fact that we've got almost 60 people in YouTube. We've got another like 30 or 40 on Discord joining us. Um, we really appreciate you guys being here. Um, yeah. <laughs> so what are, what are they going to type then? So let's get, um, let's get a, I don't know, like a, uh, uh, easy as this i think the lads one we're gonna do right. is gonna be go lads so maybe this one could be like go cogs i don't know if you want depending on yeah, yeah something like cogs. that all right so if you're in um youtube or the discord chat type in go cogs i will start copying and pasting you've got four minutes Eleven thirty-five is when i'm gonna go ahead and uh run this click to spin that hopefully will hold all the names that we get <laughs> So Dimitri is now being flooded with people in the lads waiting room. Guys, if you are in the lads waiting room or, or were in the lads waiting room, uh, Dimitri is going to get everybody in. We just sent a private link. It's kind of a, a, a closed community. It's a private community. So we don't want like bots joining. So we have that waiting room. Dimitri will get you guys in. Please intro yourself. You have to intro yourself if you're coming into the lads. Let us know who you are. It could be as short as one sentence. Uh, oh my God. Good yep. Lord. Yep. Good luck. <laughs> All right, this is probably going to be easier. <laughs> oh God! There, there are resource limited reactors, uh, cogs being sold on Way Atomic too Hub. Many. They're everywhere. Okay, here we go. Huh. Brian, Good luck. Okay. Yeah, that was a that was a mistake, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Uh, so yeah, what what else can we talk about while we can, you know, I don't know. Some I mean, know yeah, hacks yeah this, live. this is like a marathon. So Kieran's actually has uh, a setup in the lads right now. And he's going to be letting us know because he's got a script watching the DNS for the update. Uh, so he's going to let the lads know when the site goes live before the site is ready to go live. So Guys, that's please just... don't type more than once. Please, please, please. Because now I'm going to have to try to remember uh, who typed what. If you see a double name, keep an eye out for double names, chat. Call them out. <laughs> yeah, guys, this has been a marathon, man. We did not expect. I mean, we went live at not. We went live two hours ago, uh, ready for the sale at 10. And now it is 1130. Uh, this is definitely an interesting, interesting episode. I, I love everything that's going on. We've had a hell of an episode. Ronan will be on this episode for the next two hours, typing in names. This is done. Uh, <laughs> Foo Jack, uh, stop typing go cogs. <laughs> Foo, stop typing go cogs in chat, man. You're messing up my day. See, see, I'm not. Thank God, I'm not doing it as fair as Ronan is. Ronan is definitely trying to democratize this as much as possible. There's no way I'm, like, doing I'm just going to pick guys. somebody. 100 just going to pick whoever had the coolest name. So, uh, yeah, you you guys are lucky. James Ronan Ashwell, name. did I pipe type James Ashwell? You got me too, brother. I don't appreciate that, man. <laughs> Martin Brewer. 
Peter Douglas. So Dimitri is like not D- Dima. Where are you at, man? We got we got like 15 people here in in the waiting room waiting for an invite. Uh, this is amazing. Guys, make sure you intro yourself when you join lads as well. Uh, again, uh, if you, this is your first time on layer one, please leave a subscribe, please leave a like you guys are doing a great job leaving likes. Thank you so much. Uh, guys, layer one is basically a content network, uh, and lads is the community that uh, powers layer one. So we have launched our own token, uh, recently. So we're, we're definitely doing some cool things with that. We're going to do a lads giveaway here in a second, uh, as well as some pack giveaway for the lads. Uh, so we do layer one live on Mondays. Uh, Dimitri's desk, which covers like uh, different tokens and, and the technical analysis surrounding that. We do interviews with all the top people in the space. Uh, so we we've got DeFi projects, we've got NFT projects, pretty much everything that you could you could uh, get your hands on there. And then we do NFT live on Thursday. All right, so. times up, times up, guys. Pork share in chat's the last comment. Just letting people know. <laughs> Adam King, Daniel Hernandez. Uh, I should. So I think I'm always caught up. So wherever this lands, we're kicking them out of the YouTube channel. Is that what's happening? Yeah, you're out, especially if you uh you type more than once because that was just not very polite. Okay. All right. So wherever this lands, I'm banning you from our YouTube channel. <laughs> okay. I have <laughs> I no love idea. That I love that we're doing this while there's no way you can be doing that and refreshing at the same time. No, you so we're like, I thought you were oh, refreshing. I'm doing that? I thought you oh, said okay. somebody was refreshing for us. Uh, you guys are uh, you're, you're killing me, Smalls. 54 not, watching, well, only 11 likes. Common, give some love. Oh, we would love some some uh, some likes and some subscriptions and some uh, some comments. We appreciate Adam, Adam so King much, got man. Adam Adam is saying there's so much democracy going on here that I cannot even say. Adam's saying he's on here twice. Adam King, so I'm looking for twice. Adam. King. Thank you, Adam. I do see you twice. I appreciate. Why that. would you I'm say that, go, Adam? Because he's because he he's polite. He appreciates the fact that like that would be cheating, right? This is the jungle out here, man. Suit here, I got you, brother. You are right here, bud. Does anyone else feel like they typed and I missed their name? Sid, Sid here, Sid here says that he needs to be on there. Yeah, yeah, I got him right here. Okay, perfect. I think I got everybody. I think we got everybody in chat that said, uh, "Open all packs." <laughs> can somebody? Can you? Can you? Can we get in? I'm gonna drop no. our YouTube. What? We still can't get in, brother. No, definitely not. All right, guys. So this is the way this is going to work. Um, I am going to spin the wheel of names. Whoever's name it lands on, you will be the winner. I'm going to need you to DM me on whatever platform. Can they DM me on YouTube? No. Okay, so if you win and you're on YouTube, go ahead and do me a favor and drop your Wax Cloud wallet address in chat after you yes. win. If you're on Discord, shoot me a DM um, because the chats are just everywhere. I would really appreciate it. Uh, and are you ready? See, we need I'm, music. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, we need we need something. We need music. Produ- I need to spend some time setting up our soundboard. <laughs> guys, yeah, exactly. I need a soundboard. So if you guys want to donate to Layer 1, that donation button's right there. I'll get a, a Layer 1 <laughs> soundboard, all right? All right, guys. Best of luck to everybody. Again, thank you so much. We're probably only going to be live for about seven more minutes. Hopefully, the site loads and we can get one pack opened. And in that pack, we hit at least an ultra rare, if not a foil. Uh, good luck, everybody. Here we go. Ooh, we had a little sound effect. See, I'm getting a delay, so I'm I'm watching you now because I can't watch this because I, I I won't be able to see it. Hey, <laughs> Fu Hong, congratulations, brother! Uh, you are the winner of one of the um, starter pack or the uh, booster packs. Oh, I said booster pack. I didn't say starter pack. Booster packs. <laughs> 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 what an dude, episode I'm dude so i think we're going crazy man we've been on yeah. here long enough i think we're actually we filled going the crazy. gap pretty well if you're in chat and you appreciate the fact that we filled the gap uh you know of of content um you're welcome. R- Ron- ronan it, it says that the the uh wheel plays music so we have fu hong doesn't win oh it did play music okay. yeah it, it plays yeah. music <laughs> fu, i'm just kidding fu <laughs> Fu Hong, if you are in chat, brother, please drop your address. Um, that way I can get you a pack sent over. 
Awesome. All right, Dimitri is like AFK right now. So you, those of you that are waiting in the waiting room, that's on Dima. You guys can light him up once you get in the lads. But I think we have about 15 people waiting to get in lads. No idea when you guys are getting that invite. But once you do, I will do a lads giveaway uh, for everybody that's in there. Uh, the Telegram link is is down there. It looks like Fu just dropped his cloud wallet link. So okay, the perfect. way this lads giveaway, what's up? I hadn't seen it yet. It hadn't popped up. Okay. It's, I don't like, okay. So, so let me tell you this. And I, and this was the first time I dropped in and I watched, uh, when you had for the first time you reached out and asked me if I wanted to, to hang out with you on NFT live for, you know, the little guest spot. Um, but when I went and I checked out your, your video from the week prior, you had done a giveaway and you were like the first person who types whatever in chat, like gets, you know, lads or something. I think it doesn't work. It's not fair. It's random yeah. for everybody. It's so mm-hmm. random. So if you're, if you're like fast, it's like, you know, so that's why I don't like doing the, 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 the chat thing, but yeah, I'm probably going to do it next time. First person in chat. It'll just be RNG on you brothers. Cause this wheel was fun. <laughs> Listen guys, if you're going to flame me for doing giveaways, then you're going to have to, uh, you know, be leaving the channel here for a second. So, uh, I'm, if I'm doing a giveaway, you guys flame me for how I do it. I'm not going to, uh, hopefully you're not the one winning. Cause then we'll just pick another one. So, uh, so we, brother. We, no, you're good. Uh, so, so Kieran's got a Kieran's talking about YouTube delays. Uh, looks like Adam's trying to uh, send. Uh, he wants you to send a card to him instead of Foo. Kieran's <laughs> saying that it's different for everyone. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Whoever's different. got the best YouTube connection is probably winning, and the rich get richer. I'm. I've never said yeah. uh, that I'm for democracy here. So, all right. Um, what else is there? Put it put it here instead. <laughs> YouTube delays as well. Yeah, uh, there's almost an hour left on the sale. You got to think this killed their sale numbers. I definitely think that uh, the ability to not get your packs open and not like have that experience is is hindering it for sure. Like I'm not buying more right because like I haven't gotten to open the ones that I already purchased. <laughs> So I totally understand that. JP, what's going on, brother, in chat? Um, when is site up? Guys, we're really not sure. Um, we definitely know that they're they're doing the best that they can. Um, we see registrations, so that's, no, <laughs> it's gone again. Uh, so, yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to hit hit any packs today. Or at least we now. Will, yeah, at least right yeah. now. Uh, so, I'm definitely so, so, down. So let's talk about that. Like, are you available later? <laughs> I am available later. And the, yeah, I definitely want to talk about this too, because when you leave now, you'll be, you'll be needing the setup that you have now. Like that's in front of you. You're not going somewhere else to go work. You'll need the setup because because you're, you have the stream on now. Right. That's the yeah. only thing. So like, if you wanted to continue, we would just have to like uh, swap out real quick. You know, like I could hop off and then you could like log into the what, stream key. Yeah. But that uh, would stop the actual stream. The from stream itself would be broken into yeah. into two parts. Yeah, yeah, it would end up being broken into two parts. Unless unless you went live while I'm live, I think if you go live while I'm live, it will kick me out of the stream key. I believe. Interesting. I've seen. It. Okay, so Sounds the only like reason a... I know that is because I watch. I was watching. I don't know if there, if you're anybody knows, but Doctor Disrespect got hacked one day, like in the middle of his stream, and they Wait, literally took over his stream. And and the only way I can imagine is is they got his stream key, and they put it into their thing. And if yeah. if someone has your stream key and they put it in theirs, they're gonna override the live. Is the way I think. We can try it, um, but. Like I said, worst case, um, I've got a lunch meeting. I'm probably locked in till about 1.30 Eastern Standard mm-hmm. Time, maybe two. But at that point, I could probably hop on for another hour or so. And maybe we could pop <laughs> This some is going to be a, ma- a marathon stream. This is going to be like an all-day thing. <laughs> and you know what? I'm I'm not even mad. Like, not, not mad at all. It I'm has been a good mad. two hours. Yeah, it has. It's been a great start to the morning. I think that um, everybody, you know, is super excited about the product that they've got, you know, in front of them. They're just ready to, to, to crack the pack. Okay. Um, well, let's 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 try it let's try it um yeah but i guess before this breaks it, um, let's not let's not do it you have to leave now like in the next five minutes like at this very second um but yeah and, and definitely in like probably a, a good five okay in five minutes we will try this guys but we'll we'll attempt to wrap up if it does work it does work uh and we'll keep going if it doesn't work we'll probably stop the stream uh I don't feel like like making a whole nother episode is is the right move. Yeah, so yeah. Um, 
So that, that will be what we do guys. And then we'll maybe come back later or we'll do a giveaway on, on Thursday, what have you. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Definitely no, make sure, um, I, that's the reason I said it early, but I don't think I completed that thought. Definitely make sure you guys are following us on Twitter. Um, uh, if you're uh, interested in getting updates, we'll also update the lads channel, right? That'll be one of the first places we update with whatever we end up doing this afternoon. Um, if Q is unavailable or can't hop on, I think at the very least I plan on jumping on the discord. Um, I am a moderator on the, the wax discord and I definitely want to be, uh, cultivating that community. So, um, at the very least I'll be on discord at some point doing some pack openings. Uh, I might facilitate some community pack openings, which are really fun. If you've never done that, the way those usually work is you get, uh, these are six in a pack, right? So you get six people together. Um, everybody throws in an equal amount towards a, a pack, right? And mm-hmm. then eat, everybody gets like a slot in the pack. And then as they open, whoever is in that slot gets that cog. So it gets really fun because you're, you're putting in like pennies compared to what everybody else is, you know, opening yeah. a full pack, but you might still have a chance at hitting that. And so th- we did that a lot in the GPK community. People tend to love it. Top shot does it almost every drop they have. They've got somebody facilitating that. Um, I plan on doing something very similar with cogs. So if you guys want to hop in there later, we'll definitely be there at minimum. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I'm getting this OBS set up for you guys so that we can attempt to make the Dr. Disrespect switch. Colo- uh, so that I can... Colorado carry says, remember to take a pee. Oh uh, yeah. We're going to try. We're going to try. <laughs> it yeah, looks like I, 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 if you refresh wax cogs, I got a new message. So there's kind of an update there. It's not, it's, it's like an error message, but it's yeah, new, but it's so different. That, uh, so maybe they yeah. did swap it to the new server. Maybe, maybe, maybe all these maybe. So, okay. Um, Oh, now it's saying 400 bad requests. Browser so there's, sentiment. there's some, that is totally a different error. So yeah. now I'm wondering if they did hit the button because they fixed the back end and now they're dealing with server issues due to overload. <laughs> I mean, because look, man, our numbers haven't done anything but go up. Like there are yeah. more people jumping into chat and there are more people Ooh. waiting for this thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm getting... Oh. Okay, now I got a whole another. Oh, it's a different website. What are you doing? The IP address has changed. Let's see if... Kieran, I need you, man. What's going on? <laughs> Kieran, tell us what's going on in the back end. Let's let's catch up with chat real quick. Uh, Papa Bear says, "Great podcast, guys. You guys are legends." Papa Bear, you're the fucking legend. Thank you so much for dropping in chat mm-hmm. today. Um, Adam King says he can't wait to crack the pack. The artwork is so sick, dude. I couldn't agree more. Um, Sam's, uh, yeah, I was gonna buy more, but he, I'm not really sure. Um, Mike says this might actually be a great, a good thing for those of us who are worried about, or those of you, cause I'm not really worried, but those of you who are worried about scarcity, um, obviously this is going to affect that. I don't know. Um, let's take a look. I, dude, these packs are still selling multiple a minute. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're not like in huge droves like they were. Look, somebody just dropped 20 booster packs. It's not slowing down. It's not slowing down. So uh, get Karen to call them. <laughs> At least my no, I'm script gonna... isn't showing it. They haven't actually changed the IP is what it says. Someone says they upgraded to cPanel. Choina says they went to WordPress. <laughs> God damn. Uh, who's All this right, handsome so... guy on, on chat? What's going on, Usman? Thank you so much, brother, for jumping into chat with us. Good to see you, man. Hope you picked up some cogs, brother. Fun. Who's Chelsea kid is that? Another page causes my buyer. Yeah, my buyer's protection kicked in as well. Um, it's just saying it's like a non-secure website, uh, which... I don't think it's a very big deal. Okay, guys, we're still having some issues as we refresh. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to attempt here to make the switch. So I don't know if it's going to shut us off. If it does, it does. Uh, if not, it's been a great episode. I think this has been, I mean, we've had some good episodes. We did it for the, yes. the Shatner launch. We did it for the Top Shot launch. We've had some great episodes, but this has definitely been a good one. So if we do get kicked off here, uh, we appreciate you guys uh, hopping on for this episode. I'm willing to push this a couple of minutes. Pork says that Atomic is showing, I don't have Atomic pulled up at the moment. Let's pull up Atomic. Atomic is showing that some packs may have been open. Two That's not booster good. packs. That's two not booster good. packs and one starter pack. Odds are cool. what that means is that the website is now having tra- uh, traffic issues. But I'm getting the I'm getting that 408. So it's actually um, yeah. If this gets into a situation where other people are able to open packs for whatever reason, this might get a little dicey. Okay, so I do know that um, both 
COGS and BCH and TK, um, they, they do have the ability to test this on the back end. Um, cause if you saw earlier, they actually oh, yeah. had, they had a starter and a booster that was opened like two minutes after the live went live, but it disappeared shortly after. So they can actually test it. You're probably seeing test That's packs. What yeah, so Colo- you're Colo- pack, test packs. Yeah, Colorado's saying those were confirmed as test packs, one one yep. of each before the sale. Yep, yep. So so those are test packs. There, that means that they didn't actually contain anything. Um, I think if you go to the the main page here, there there's a way for you to see the, uh, the actual assets themselves, and that showed that nothing had been opened yet. There wasn't a single regular asset yet. Yeah, it's all. Oh, these are the templates. This is the templates I was looking for earlier. <laughs> uh, Man, yeah. I'm gonna eat the biggest breakfast that ever existed after this episode. Dude, I started my breakfast right before we hopped in Zoom, and mm. I never went back. <laughs> so I'm just hoping that you know my wife took care of that. Mm. Um, Mike Scott says those that <coughs> were opened like an hour ago. Yeah, they were Mike. Uh, they were test sets. Yep, for sure. Um, just one more last check on the discords. It looks like those are pretty quiet at the moment. I think everybody's kind of just hanging out. Um, what I am gonna do, brother, is I am gonna leave you up streaming in the Discord if I see it uh, successful. Um, just so those guys can still you know see what you got going on. Um, okay. But uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. This has been one of those um, releases that I've been really super excited about. I think the team has done a really cool thing. I think the game is going to make this a really cool experience. Um, And I think that this is going to be the first wax offering that really like cultivates like the trading aspect of collecting, which is important because I think Mm -hmm. for me, that's the most fun, man. Like the most fun of this is going to be this afternoon when I'm done with like my day job stuff and I can like hop into discord and start like, this is what I got. This is what I want. Yo, who's got this? I need that. Oh, you pulled a foil. I want that foil. You know what I mean? Like Mm -hmm. that is exciting. It's fun. It's going to get like people hype. Um, and I wish that would have started before, uh, or you would have been able to open your packs before the window closed because that alone should bring, some connection to the product and 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 i think that people would have instantly went back and p- picked up more yeah i think that probably would have been the case so i mean we'll never really know uh we still we still are getting the error but i'm definitely looking forward to open these packs that's that's something we wish we could have done uh on the live stream but you know things happen during these sales so uh yeah guys we'll stick around so this is what i'm gonna do uh that this will likely be the end of the episode uh, if it does work and somehow we're running the same stream key and mine takes over, uh, we should see that I'm going to be on collectible so that I can yeah, you guys uh, will, see will. the difference. Yeah. Yep. You guys should, okay. we should be able to see a difference on your, I guess you'll see it on your, your dashboard. Um, but if not, then remember guys, follow us on Twitter at Ronin D A C C, uh, at crypto Q underscore one. Uh, we will keep you guys updated on what we're going to be doing. We're definitely going to bring you some more cogs content this afternoon in some way, shape or form, how it's going to go down. I'm not sure, but thank you so much to everybody who's in chat. We, uh, no doubt, brother, we broke a hundred viewers today. Um, and that's huge. This is what our third or fourth week doing this together, man. And it's, it's, it's going well. Yeah, cannot wait for the extra episodes that have, are to come with COGS as well as like what we're doing in the future with NFTs, man. This has Most been definitely. a great episode. NFT industry is popping. This chat is popping. COGS is popping. Everything is yep. happening. So we will, let me let me attempt this real quick and see if we can't do it while on stream. So I click start stream. Right. We'll see if it takes over. If not, uh, or regardless, I'll see you guys later. If not, definitely make sure you're following us on um, on social. If not, definitely make sure you're following us on um, on social to know when we're coming back. Okay, perfect, man. All right, buddy. Good luck. Right. Yeah. Let's see if you, maybe if you, Oh, if, it might've switched. It let's switched. See. I got, well, I got a skip ad. Did it switch? I see you. Yeah. I see. Cause we're switched on uh, the, the stream right now. We're still going, I baby. Told you, I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> Someone go. go ahead and hire me already. I wouldn't have to go to this damn lunch meeting. We're still here, baby. We're, we're still hey, alive hey, with I'll, Crypto Q. You I'll, guys enjoy your afternoon. I'll see you at one thirty, bro. Yeah, dude. Let's let's make it happen, man. Yo, if 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 pack opening happens, I don't care that I'm in a meeting. It's virtual. Please send me uh, a ping so I can at least hop in and like watch you open your first pack. I would 100%. love to do that. I mean, I, I'm gonna keep the stream up, but I, I you know it's gonna be kind of. So good luck. Have fun guys. We'll see you later. All right. I don't know how I'm carrying the show, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. I'll see you uh, in a little bit. All right, man.
boom and you see my big face because he just left all right guys how am i carrying this i have no idea but i'm gonna be in chat my dog is sitting right there hey you want to be the co-host no okay all right well anyways we are still waiting here it looks like i lost a ton of viewership ronan was botting this channel no i'm just kidding uh so we're actually uh we're actually going to continue i'm seeing chat come through uh, I'm going to be on here for a little bit longer. We'll see if they, if they say it's like another hour wait, I'm likely going to hop off. Uh, yeah. Dog cam. I'm waiting for it. Please guys, please, 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 please tell me if this site goes live. I'm over here refreshing Kieran's in the chat. It looks like Dimitri is getting you guys into lads. What else is going on guys? Cause we've been talking about cogs for so long. We're sitting here talking about cogs still. We will continue, but what else is going on, man? Since this stream is now coming up onto two and a half hours of NFT content. What else is going on? I'm checking the lads waiting room here. Again, guys, if you're in the, the layer one waiting room or the lads waiting room, make sure you intro yourself when you uh, come into the community. Uh, obviously lads, as I've said multiple times is the community that kind of powers layer one and all the stuff that we're doing here. They engage with the content. They earn lads, which is a social currency token, much like the whale token. We've got our own uh, social currency token that will be hitting Uniswap this week. Cannot wait for that. Uh, so yeah, go into the description and you will see t.me slash join layer one and Dimitri will get you guys handled. We are about to see a, a huge <laughs> influx into the lads community. So interesting stuff there we've got our telegram set up we are launching our discord this week kieran is going to be the first one in uh you need a certain amount of lads to get into the lads hq which is the discord so all right <coughs> i am new to cogs can you give a brief idea of it so jp unfortunately for you the guy who has been immersed in cogs for pretty much you know the last couple weeks to a month just left so you're kind of left with a guy who's interested in cogs but not totally immersed but from what i can tell it's a, a digital collectible it's an nft that's going to have some game mechanic uh that goes along with it so if you're interested in pogs maybe you're an 80s and 90s kid uh you know about pogs cogs is going to be that so i can pull up let me see if i can't pull up this stuff Let's see if they have anything from their blog that I can pull up because obviously you're not going to be able to go to wax.cogs.gg. Yeah, so there's not going to be, I mean, most of that stuff's found on their website, right? So what you have here is, oh no, guys, I hate when that happens. All right, so what you're seeing here is cogs gg uh this is the kind of collectible that you will get in these packs and basically what you're having is uh, a situation where there's different series created by different artists uh, based on the packs there's going to be different features so you'll open the pack you'll get there there's a potential at rares a potential at foils there's a potential at all of these different features uh you definitely want to open them as quickly as possible as well because what you can get from that uh essentially is uh, the, the lower mints and lower mints have shown at least on wax to be selling for a little bit more. So, uh, that's the situation with cogs. Uh, looks like L.GG. Are they taunting us? Sam's talking about taunting Scott saying I'm back. Welcome back, Scott. We are in a marathon episode at this point. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to, uh, seeing what that auction goes for as far as What are you doing? Come here. No? You want to come on stream? Come on. No? Dog stream's canceled, guys. We got him in the back. I don't know what he's doing. He's been in here for two hours as well. So you can't blame him for getting a little bit frisky. Where are you at, man? Come here. Oh, yeah. Now he's starting to bark. What? Okay. See, guys, this is what happens when we go for two and a half hours. This stream is starting to divulge into utter nonsense. Uh, so we're still waiting on the refresh to open the cards. I've got three or four cards uh, or three or four packs. Uh, let's see. Hey, He's small, man, and he's small and he's quick. Come here. 
I got you. It's Shep Cam, guys. All right, so the packs say first edition. Will there be more sales of different packs? He's definitely getting antsy. Who's not getting antsy at this point, guys? Who's not? I'm getting a ton of questions in my Telegram right now. All right, it looks like the lads invites are coming through. So, Jen, you just got into the, uh, the lads community. Welcome in. We're going to – yeah, here it comes. Dimitri's launching the invites shortly. So, everybody's getting in. Uh, guys, we'll do a lads giveaway here in a second uh, for those people trying to get in. It looks like Dima's, <laughs> Dima's got the floodgates open. <laughs> guys, I'm literally going insane. I've been streaming for two and a half hours. Uh, Weed Miner's in here. What's going on, Weed Miner? Uh, Ronan is in here. There will be more sales, but these will never be available again. All right, so we've got the Cogs expert in the chat here for you guys. So if you have any questions, Ronan is available, although he is working on uh some real life things that are going on right now but guys i'm literally going absolutely insane it looks like layer one is yeah everybody's coming the floodgates are being unlaunched guys make sure you intro yourself when you join lads this is going to be amazing <laughs> dimitri good job on getting everybody in man Amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, to all the communities that are out there, to the Cogs community, to the Whale Shark community, thank you guys uh, for following along for this long. This has been an amazing, amazing stream. This is the longest by far that we've ever gone. I mean, people are going to see this episode after we stop this, and it's going to be on their YouTube dashboard. It's going to show like three-hour stream, and they're going to wonder what the hell we did the entire time. So, uh, yeah, I mean, what can you say? We're still here waiting I'm looking at, I'm going to bring in Atomic Hub and I'm going to bring in collectibles so that we can kind of look at this. So anybody that is actually buying packs on the open market, go ahead and uninstall your entire computer and get rid of it because you are going to be taken advantage of if you are in crypto and you're buying packs on the open marketplace while the sale is still live. Please don't do that. Uh, you can find other ways. It's literally one click away and you can just buy it for 21 bucks don't buy it for 50 from some scammer that's on this marketplace um whoever is going to be auctioning off or if the team auctions off uh one of those she uh, what was it called i don't even know what it was called but one of those meme calls i will 100 percent be trying to get into that although i'll probably be pushed out if it's like a one of one so um yeah we're pretty much coming up to the end of it guys the dog is absolutely i'm gonna let the dog out actually let's see because i think my girlfriend might be home hello okay perfect he needs to probably go out good lord oh guys adam how do you get into lads well this is what you do you go to the ukrainian bear and you make a sacrifice no, really, you just enter the layer one waiting room and you get in. So t.me slash join layer one. Dimitri will be there helping you out. Uh, Lads chat is exploding. Yeah, I'm sure it is. There's a ton of people. Make sure you intro yourself. You don't just get into the Lads community without introing yourself, guys. All right, here's what I'm doing. We are doing a giveaway. I'm not going to be doing the thing where I type in 50 billion people's names. I'll figure out a way. Dimitri's trying to figure out a way. Guys, if you, it, here's what we'll do. That we'll, we're wasting time at this point. I don't even know. I'm going to like start doing dances for you guys so that we can just like pass the time here. So, anyways, we've got a little bit of the community in here. You guys uh, are going to get a pack here. I'm about to buy one of these booster packs. Not starter packs. Don't get ahead of yourself. I'm buying one of these booster packs. I will give it to one person. Uh, we'll figure this out. And then the lads, any lads that contribute, although this is going to be tough to go back and, and do this now. Uh, any lads that contribute are going to get 150 lads. That's our social t currency token that we launched this past week. If you have any questions about lads, you go into the Telegram, ask Dimitri. I'm sure he's not busy with anything else. Um, so this is what we're doing. 150 lads for anybody that contributes. And one person, and I'm just going to pick... Okay, I'm not doing this roulette style wheel. 
that's democracy. This is this is my rouge, my rule, my stream. We're doing it my way. I'm gonna give a booster pack to one person, uh, and we'll do that. So lads get the lads. One person gets the one. Uh, one person gets the one pack. Uh, but we need to make sure this person is in lads. So I'm not doing it to the to the other people. So if you're in lads, you can participate. I'm gonna check the lads waiting room as well. So. Choin is saying create a quick Google form and copy the names. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna do it. I'm 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 just gonna pick. Listen, I've been streaming for two and a half hours. I'm I we've been all over the place. You just just appreciate that I'm doing a giveaway for the community. Maybe it's you, maybe it's not Choina. That's what we're gonna do. So all right, so this is what we're gonna do. Whew. You have to be in the lads community. Every lad that participates gets 150 lads. And I will pick somebody who says go lads. So type in go lads in the channel. I'm just going to randomly pick one person and I'm going to buy one of these booster packs right now to give away. So boom. If I go in and see that you're not in lads, you're going to be uh, excommunicated from the channel. So buying one right now. Okay. I guess I don't even have to. All right. Easy as that. That's EOS IO tech guys. Guys, you don't need to say it in lads. <laughs> it's just don't spam lads. No <laughs> guys. No in YouTube chat. No. YouTube chat, guys. Come on now. Woo! All right. Uh, for those of you that need to know, I see the lads coming through. Not in lads, then you can't get any lads, and you're not going to get this pack. Join is still in the waiting room. Dimitri... <laughs> Dimitri is the gatekeeper. The Ukrainian bear is this gatekeeper. Loadmaster says, don't go, lads. That's that's an instant ban. Uh, Dimitri, make sure that we ban that guy from the channel. Dude, all this is happening and no one's refreshing. So who knows? Some guy sitting at home that's not doing a damn thing but refreshing it a billion times is going to get all the mint once. Yeah, if Ben can get back in here, I'm I'm free for it, man. <laughs> the lads waiting room is being spammed now. <laughs> Guys, if Ben comes back in, we'll get an ETA. Otherwise, probably the Telegram is the best spot. Okay, I'm gonna pick from these go lads here. I'm just gonna pick a random person, right? Uh so I, if you've been in lads a uh, long time, I don't mean to offend you by picking somebody that just joined. This is I'm literally just trying to no bias. I'm just going to run my finger down this screen right here and try to figure it out. So. Q, sir, I, I have said that I'm going to be dropping when it goes live in here in Telegram. Yeah, but Kieran, isn't there a YouTube delay? I'm not going to see it immediately. Yeah, guys, uh, Demetri just dropped in chat. If you are, if you want to be a part of Lads uh, and, and part of our community and, and want to earn uh, our social token, Lads, uh, we're adding that liquidity to Uniswap this week. Uh, that should be an interesting time for us. Uh, but if you want to get involved with that, uh, then you have to uh, sign up at tryroll.com. So tryroll is the company that's kind of, or the platform, the application, what have you, that's actually creating all of these social tokens. So the, the whale token is one of them. Alex is another. Uh, there's a ton of others that are being created. So uh, definitely want to see lads uh, shoot up the charts. I don't think it'll ever catch whale though. It's just like you guys have a totally different mechanic. It, like your tokens backed by NFTs. I, I how do I how do I compete? with a whale token that's literally backed by the biggest vault of nfts that ever was created so we'll have to shoot for second place but that is a good spot too maybe maybe one day we'll start to back our uh 
our our stuff with maybe DeFi shit coins. We could we could try that. That that might get us to the point where we are in front of whale. I don't know. Dimitri's gonna set that up. Ukrainian bear is gonna set that up for us. I will see it immediately. Ooh. Okay. All right. Well, then I'll follow the chat. I'm literally getting lightheaded, guys. I haven't eaten this morning. It's been three hours. Um, you know, well, what can you say? My girlfriend's probably pissed off. I said that today was my day where I was just going to work from, you know, a little bit in the morning and then be done. Okay. R Rival Sky says, go Nads. <laughs> Oh, that was a good one. Okay, here we go. I'm picking randomly, guys, from the chat. I'm not looking because I don't want to do this. I had to, way too much bias was going on. I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to wherever my finger ends up. So that's what I'm going to do. Amos go. Amos, congrats, man. That's where my finger ended up. That's what you're getting. If you would like one of these packs, congratulations. I could have done that way more democratically, but, you know, this is what we do here on this stream. So uh, there we go. Pick your friend and your nose, but don't pick your friend's nose. True. Although I'll leave that for off stream. So Amos, great job, man. Drop your uh, drop your your wax cloud wallet, guys. I need like a, a, a shot or something. I need an IV. This has been a long, long, long stream. Uh, lads, looks like it's blowing up. Appreciate everybody joining there, guys. This is amazing, uh, guys. So I almost dropped that, dropped that wallet for me. Every lad that contributed is going to get 150 lads as well. Remember that. So XP Wow is saying GG. Yeah, GG to everybody that got uh, GG there. Sorry, we only have one. I wish I could give it to everybody, but this isn't Whale Shark, guys. <laughs> Sam saying, dude, just log out. Hey, man, I'm trying to do this for you guys, okay? Come on. I'll be the sacrificial lamb here. Woo! Okay. Any updates here? Any updates? I wish Ben would just hop back in here and just like pep, pep talk me here because I need an update. Big, 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 big update. Come on now. Looks like Atomic Hub is going. Obviously, you can still buy packs. That's going to be remaining for 47 more minutes. All right. I'm going to throw up the calculator here, guys. Let's see what we've, uh, let's see what we've got because they've sold a grand total of about 9,000 packs. Um, Let's see if we can't get the total here. All right. It looks like the pack price went up over here. Is it was it always twenty two oh four? Maybe I'm just like losing, literally losing my mind. Okay, one hundred ten thousand from the starter packs alone. So one hundred ten. And then another 22k so literally 132,000 uh has been sold so we were talking about this early in the episode guys it should be an interesting wax price is going up that's interesting tell me something i don't know right now that's what i want to hear you got my attention let's see it that's what we've been waiting for a little bit so what is it let's see
All right, so moving on, what we're doing here is going to check out the collectible side. If you guys don't know collectibles, uh, we are going to be using this for our secondary marketplace. So that's basically the secondary marketplace uh, that I use. You can see GPKs, Shatners. I think they have COGS on here. Uh, so they've got some COGS selling. Guys, don't buy any of these packs on here. Uh, but we did see the Mint 1 pack. Uh, that... Let's see if we go if we search by mint lowest first we've got the number one it's sold for 545. Uh, if I go to my inventory you can see what you have. I have this one so let me go to almost let me let me send you via this. I got two people in here saying that the price of wax is going up. Don't believe it. Almost did you send me your cloud? Yeah he's saying okay give me a sec. Um, so guys, again, uh, I I've used uh, collectibles here pretty much the entire time on these wax sales. I did pretty well on the Shatner sale. Uh, I did also pretty well on the Ti Tiger King sale. So definitely interested to see what what Cogs does. There is no supply cap, uh, so so this is going to continue to go up. They've sold about 130,000, 140,000 uh, total of these uh, dollars worth. Uh, so we will continue to see them continue to be sold. Uh, it looks like there is 44 minutes left on this sale. The pack price is going up. That's what I thought. Yeah, I think people... So people that are buying the number one pack, uh, that is going to be a situation where uh, they'll probably hold that. Like that pack will probably never be opened. Uh, so well, I don't know if... I don't that That would be my guess on, on that. So uh, wax prices... Yeah, five cents and a, b a little bit more than a quarter. Yeah, it was it was it was there like yesterday. That's what the price was. Um, oh my god, my girlfriend said she has lunch ready for me when I'm done. Woo, guys, guys, what a day! I'm glad we're experiencing this together, though. I, I am. I am. All right. I almost just sent his cloud wallet. I'm going to send it over here so we don't have any of that weird stuff going on. Okay. Uh, boom. Transfer one item. Who to send to? Copy, paste. Message. Go, lads. Looks like the booster pack is going to be on its way. I believe that's what it is, yeah? The account does not exist. Interesting. Sending me fake accounts. I might have to pick a new uh, new winner here, guys. I almost got... I almost got... Uh, scammed. IKQQW. I K Q Q W. Account does not exist. Guys, we might have a situation here. There might be a chance for someone else to win this pack. I don't know, Amos. What's going on here, man? Gotta figure it out. You got you got under 30 seconds. I think we had this issue uh at one time before when I was send, sending a shot in her card. So we'll try I'll try to do that again. Let me see. Like the literal exact same issue, so it might it might be that it's on my end. Account does not exist. Um, we'll try here in the next five minutes. Adam continues to drop his wax cloud wallet. So if anybody wants to send that poor man any NFT assets, please do. All right, guys, still waiting, still waiting. If it still doesn't work, this situation, this is deja vu because that literally happened with the Shat Shatner wallet. They and the, the same guy was like, "Yeah, just give it to somebody else." And then I tried to transfer. If this if this works, we're in the matrix. 
because that is exactly what happens. Try one more time. Nope. Maybe I type it out. Adam's now offering me virtual hugs. I need a real hug. Two hours, three hours. Where where are we? This is about to be three hours on stream. And you guys have stayed with me the entire time. That's dedication. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue streaming into Dimitri's desk. We have Dimitri's desk later at five. I'm gonna continue streaming and overtake Dimitri's desk. So no Dimitri's desk. This end. no, I'm just kidding. Oh, guys, Dimitri says 5 p.m. Gives you the latest on all the price action in the cryptocurrency markets, including please cover WaxP for us so that you, people can talk about WaxP going up when it's staying in the same exact spot that it was yesterday. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's go back. Maybe Maybe I was too quick on the trigger there. Let's see. Oh, I see what you guys are saying. Okay. So you guys are going to get me all in a jam here. Ruffle my feathers for a 1.4% move. Demetri, did we wake up rich? Ooh! Ooh! Dimitri! Those who take no risks, drink no champagne. Ah. Three hours, guys. Nine minutes from three hours. Uh, anybody got tokens that we can look at other than Wax B? At this point, guys, I mean, I... I I'm anybody in sand, anybody in sandbox, what NFTs I, at this, at this point, I need you guys to kind of like carry me through this portion of the episode, please. Kieran's Kieran, I, I, the images are loading. I need to see this. I want any tokens, throw out any tokens. We're doing Dimitri's desk on an NFT live. Any tokens you guys got. Ah, Guys, Kieran's setup is pretty legit. Not going to lie. Yeah, sand is interesting. Why isn't sand on Uniswap? Raffle your Chelsea top. Nah, man, I can't do that. Maybe if it was that trash Yokohama one, I would. But you can't You can't raffle the Samsung. Come on now. You know better. I'm hearing a lot about Dima. Or Dia, sorry. Not Dima. I'm not hearing anything about Dima. All right. Uh, yeah, so so obviously the sandbox price was like out the IEO. It was like a less than a penny. Came out on, on Binance trading at like eight cents. So whoever got into I asked, literally, I, I asked you guys. I asked you guys if you had any tickets for the sandbox because I wanted to get in. The, the cap was like 25K. I know you weren't trying to buy 25k of sand unless you're like whale shark or something. And nobody hit me up. I didn't get in the IEO and it 10x immediately. Uh, so still kind of salty about that. Uh, but you know, so it looks like it hit the markets. Uh, it hit Coin Gecko. Yeah, so Coin Gecko got to it a little bit late. These are always a little bit interesting because it'll hit Coin Gecko uh, and then um, you know it'll it won't show the price that it was trading at once it hit Binance, right? Uh, so this is showing about five cents. It was about eight cents, or maybe it will. Damn. Maybe I'm just an idiot. No, nope, six cents, seven, four. I think it was eight, but uh, I'm not I'm not positive. So um, guys, I'm literally losing it here. So sorry about that one. Uh, so on the 14 day chart, we could probably see it ran up to about seven, four. I think it hit like eight. So maybe there was something before this, but anyways, it's, it's, 
trying to find, you know, its price. It's going through price discovery, as Dima likes to say, uh, around five cents. So honestly, not a bad spot to pick it up. The total market cap here, 27 million. Uh, if you look at something that's and I bring this up a lot, but Decentraland uh, has their mana token, which is essentially uh, what uh, the sand is for the sandbox. Its market cap is about 115 uh, million. So uh, definitely a gap there. If you look at the market caps, uh, maybe it has a chance to to continue. I'm waiting for it on Uniswap. I don't know what the hell the deal is. I guess nobody wants to provide liquidity there. Um, so that's that's sand token. Uh, that's Dimitri, that's Q's desk, uh, for sand token. So anybody else? I don't think we're going to get the, uh, the, 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 the pack opening today, guys. It's just, it's just not happening. Some things are not worth, uh, talking about landowners getting free sand drop. Please tell me what's the information here. Cause you're the second person that's told me this. Uh, what is, what is the landowner and what are we getting? Serum XL XP and Solana. Yeah. Solana's good. I like Solana. We had them on uh, the Layer 1 podcast uh, recently. And when I say recently, I mean three months, which is like 10 years in crypto time. Uh, yeah, Solana's doing well. Relationship with us. So those offices that were hesitant to send us things before are now coming on board and they're liking the process. And with all of the acquisitions going on, I think it's going to be much easier to get more business with the transparency and just the communication that we have with this process. I think it makes that much of a difference. So hopefully okay. that's going to go over into our retention for the client as well. Maybe the messaging will start being better, you know, from the partners, maybe they'll have more confidence in that way. So, I mean, there's a lot, a lot of positive about all of this that, that we, that we have gone through and built and, everybody's vision i i think it's a i think it's huge yeah What hasn't happened on this stream? What <laughs> What hasn't happened on this stream, guys? <laughs> oh my god. Guys, that was the cogs. That was the team. I'm sure that was like some uh cogs meeting, <laughs> a virtual mothers meeting. <laughs> Oh, that was the Cog Syndicate that was having their meeting there. Rona was making sure that all of us were in line. Who knows? Ronan's in chat. Oh, God. I think you might get lit up here, brother, and rightfully so. So, um, we'll see. Amazing. This this has been ups, downs. I'm 100% time stamping that. Guys, we've got three minutes left. I'm hopping off here at 1230. There's no way... That will officially be three hours. I can't go any longer. Um, holy crap. Great to see. Great to see the inner workings of Ronan's life there. That was that was a fun time. Guys, hell of a stream. We're going to get off here shortly because it doesn't look like we're going to be able to open packs today. Uh, three hours long added so many lads we appreciate the support i don't i don't know what else to say literally this this stream has had everything we've had we've had behind the scenes looked into zoom meetings we've had giveaways we've had sales that have crashed sites dimitri's on here we had Demet we had q's desk guys what what didn't we have i uh, appreciate everybody staying till the end wow I don't even know what to say. I, I'm, I'm signing off here. Leave your last comment. I appreciate it. Guys, you can follow me at CryptoQ uh, underscore one, but all you need to do is CryptoQ. So uh, I have no idea. I'm about to find out what's for lunch. So uh, that is happening. Wow. 
at the, if you had told me everything that would have happened on the stream at the beginning, I would have logged off. I wouldn't, I would have said, no, this isn't happening today. So, all right, guys. All right. Woo. All right, guys, I'm signing off last 30 seconds of the stream. We're doing a stream countdown from 30 all the way to zero. You guys, uh, yeah, I'll be sitting here refreshing the rest of the day, man. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Ronan, Dan, Zentro, Adam, Kieran, JP, James. How do I keep going? Amos. I'll try to get you that collectible. We'll, we'll link up in lads. China, Rival Sky, Weed Miner. There's so many. I can't, I can't, I can't do this. I appreciate everybody. I'm out. I'll see you guys next time.